Hello, folks. It's time to clock back in. Here's the wallpaper for today. Just some folks gaming. Just some gaming happening. Uh, although two of them, three of them appear to be holding Xbox 360 controllers, two of them are holding original Xbox controllers? It's a bit confusing. Yeah, wholesome moments, though. Wholesome moments with the bros. Yeah, there, we got it. We got a 360 here. Something. A laptop. And then a lot of, like, a lot of fine pottery in the background. A privacy screen. A relatively clean kitchen, it looks like. So. And, uh, and plenty of feet to go around, that's for sure. So, God bless. I'm, I'm hesitant to say those might be all the feet we get today. There we go. I want my I want maximum audio quality. Ooh. Got my latest tattoo done this morning. It is of a Eurasian otter. Huh. What's a Eurasian otter? I want to give it a name. Good question. Let's see here. Let me let me look up some photos. Get a reference here. Oh. Randall. Yesterday's body count lottery rounded out to a solid and sturdy 30. 10 out of Haywood. Thanks to unabated gang wars. One officer. Uh, no, I have not found the Ken Block car. There's been a lot of, like, articles about it. Let's see if I find it, uh, organically. Or, or magically. This is Kirk Hansen. I think this is the same audio that played before. Doolard? Thanks for gifting a sub. Hopefully the gifted sub will help take the sting out of the fresh tattoo. Yeah. Oh. Okay, yes. It's, I found Slider. After shooting a, a computer, Idris is right Speed. there. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Here to make a deal, nothing more. Right into it. Yeah. Let me guess. I also have... Okay, so also good news. I have misunderstood massively how the drop and, and gift to stream... Gift to, ugh. The support a streamer system works. Support a streamer works pretty much like I thought. I got my sniper rifle, everything's good. Uh, tucked two Bruce, two subs into Bruce's thong, felt felt nice, and and it's, they're on sale, uh, so that works. But also the Twitch drops. I thought there were waves that had already happened, but I think they put the dates into Twitch in like European format. So I, I completely misunderstood. They have yet to happen. Is the good news? So I got my pants, but uh, hey, if you want some pants, consider linking your good old games account with your cyberpunk, or with your Twitch account rather. And then it'll unlock. You can unlock pants. I'm gonna check those pants out as soon as I uh, and a bullet to the brain when you decide. Tiptoe through a dialogue tree. I no use to you. That kind of deal. I know poor souls who try to strike a deal with Solomon Reed. Remember them, Agent Reed. If one party is backed into a corner, it is not negotiation. It is extortion. You say tomato, I say fucking deal with its lighter. Now, cut the shit and do us the courtesy of hearing us out. I would do that. Let me touch you. No love laws between you two, huh? Those who speak to Reed have a strange habit of vanishing or committing suicide. Look at this lighting. But since you are banished, you must know that by now. Speak your piece. Need some intel. Street says you're the one to get it. Me? <laughs> I am a blind man. I see nothing. Know nothing. Cyberspace is my only field of vision. Well, just so happens what we need is one who knows cyberspace. Sees lots in it. Donk. 
Dame, sir. What specifically do you want from me? Soon after SF-1 crashed, a runner was attacked while on the net. Attack severed our link. Need to locate her stat. Ah. So you want one to investigate net traffic on the day of the crash? Oh, fatherly Nick. Got a malfunctioning relic in my skull. So how she made contact. That help any? Hmm. Perhaps. I will need a peek at this trinket in your head. Well, okay, I guess. I mean, what's the what's the harm in letting people poke at something that's going to kill you? This I promise. Keep your eyes on him, Reed. I am blind, not deaf. Let us see what we have here. Oh man, I audio? I see traces. Bursts of data in cyberspace. The wake of someone's passage. Whew. Whoops. Who dare they mad? This I do not believe. You out of your mind coming to me with this shit. I think slide just happened on you hanging out in my head. No, this is something else. What you see? The black wall. It bring only death. Specific slider. The woman. Did you know she used the black wall protocol to connect with you? Ooh. Uh, but, uh, uh. I don't know why, but it is actually really satisfying to see dialogue options I'm not allowed to pick. Me. It would be annoying, I think, if it were in every, every dialogue tree. I've wondered about that, too. There's got to be some black magic to the rate at which they show you those options. Or maybe truly do you you do see every stat you fit or a stat check you fail. I don't know. I wonder about that. Speak. Nope. Can't say I'm surprised though. Foot. Do you know what it is you bring me? Enlighten us. How to explain to layman? The net has layers. Like an onion. Various vectors for translocation. But there is one thing that must not be touched. The black wall. The woman? She is walking, ticking bomb. Megatons. She go boom. Everybody fucked in the ass. Every last one. Miwanwa. It is a dam that protects us, the civilized world, from the strange bets of the cyber wilderness. If your two-leg bomb crack the dam down the middle, it will unleash a flood. Wipe us off the map, just like Haiti. Is he referring to... Is he referring to... When he says she, is he referring to Songbird? Or to Alt? Or to... My mom, Brigitte. She's already so dead, though. Dog? Oh, no. Is that why you and the Pacific of Voodoo's don't see eye to eye? Okay, I think Songbird. Holes in the black wall. They do not penetrate. Only jerk off next to it. <laughs> watch try to keep them in check. But you have to be cracked in the first place to want to stick your gigit into a live wire outlet. That's a really good way to describe it. I like that. Past the black wall, you are no more than a cockroach, a rabbit. A fragment of outdated code with no meaning. This why Netwatch flatline any who put integrity of black wall at risk. It's no laughing matter, my friend. It is a concern for the safety of all. That's why you, my friend, need to restore V's connection to our girl. You are out of your mind. Oh. Well, now you're part of this madness, too. Welcome to the shit show. That was close. Modi. Non-negotiable slider. We need to find her. Did I miss feet? Absolutely not. Well, kind Besides, of. 
As long as she's out there, they catch her scent. They catch yours now, too. They'll sit their wirehead freaks on to you and your people. So you'll help me clean this up, cover all tracks, snip any threads leading back to you and consequently us. Do that, and we'll be square. You'll be off the FIA's hook, too. <sighs> Meld, it's my lucky day. So, okay, so wait a minute. <laughs> Brigitte stuck Blackwall stuff in V, and then Songbird accidentally triggered it by connecting with them? And now Songbird's infected with, like, deep black cyber magic? Yondo, thank you for the sub. No spoils, stopping by to say hi. Before I thank you for saying mind. hi. I definitely understand uh, not wanting any spoils. I, uh, let me tell you, it was tough getting my drops while not watching a stream. I had to, like, <laughs> I had to reduce the window to, like, a postage stamp so it would count as me watching it, but I couldn't see what was going on. Ever done anything like this before? What? Be the bridge between hosts using the Blackwall protocol. What the fuck do you think, eh? Confirm the data transfer before I change my mind. He's got a point. All right, Confirm the data transfer before I change my mind. Yeah, wallpaper feet count a few. Idris feet count zero. And for actually anybody's feet in this game count. I still haven't done the mission where I get Pen Am's feet in my lap, which is aggravating. Me. Yeah, sorry. I'm just I'm doing one thing. Every every Wednesday and Friday when it turns one o'clock, I have a few things I have to click on, and I just so happen to look over and see that it was one of clock. Okay, click click click. Everything's good. I think you can watch your own stream for drops? I think you can. I think you just have to open it in a separate window. Yeah, give me a minute. It's, it's like on this like high tension moment. <laughs> Many audiences to serve here. Somebody's about to say something again. Okay, I think that's it. Everything's clicked on. Let me just make sure that... That game... Okay, there's audio there. Everything seems fine. Very good. Very good. I'll just leave that there. Alright, sorry about that. Here we go. The life of a... Content creator. You did hear Bruce. Ah, shit. was the only way to reach you after SF-1 was hot. Listen, dude, don't okay. much time. Kansas people tracked me down after I res the Chimera. I've been... detained. I'm not in any danger. Not as long as I behave. Do what I'm told. I need more help. There's... Something's not right, man. Black Sapphire View. Hanson's 
Almost like a huge shindig there. Crash it on the sly. I'll find you. Make sure to tell Rain. I have a full set of what Is everything all right, people? Poor bastard. Aww. It's over. He short sucked. Slider. He flatlined because of us. Flatline, period. That all you gotta say? He was a murderer. He killed two innocent local runners. I have zero sympathy for this piece of shit. Come on, V. Really thought he'd leave him breathing? With everything the god knew? So, Songbird, what's up with her? Got the link back up, we spoke. She's fine, mostly. Needs our help, but she's fine, in one piece. Still smoking? All right, give me the decent later. Sizzler. Come on, let's delta out of here. There could be more of Slider's lackeys looking around. Take it easy, Slider. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I do appreciate how this game doesn't morally separate all the people you kill in the course of gameplay from people that have dialogue and names. You're, st you're still a mercenary, you know? They have to kind of remind you of that sometimes. <clears throat> Skylight. Who is this rising star of cybercrime? Oh yeah, this Diablo sounding music. Why can't I scroll it? Yeah. All right. Well, what? Oh. Hmm. What? Hmm. Well, that might be why. My mouse disconnect. Hey. Hey. This mouse has been kind of haunted lately. It's either out of battery or... Oh! It's just disconnected. All right. Rubiconian. It's going quite well. Yeah, it's a headphones day. I want to get immersed. My headphones are way better audio than my speakers, so... Why are you in, like, stealth mode? What's your deal, man? Going pretty well, Rubiconian. What the fuck? I'm stuck. I am stuck on the wire. There. God damn. Get up! Hello, slashed thighs. Welcome. What is that sound? Stop getting stuck! I don't think it's supposed to be doing that. turned off again. Is it out of battery? What's going on? That's not good. There's a whole other room full of dudes. This might get spicy. Which is to say, I think I'm about to die. If you're like under fire, I guess I just need to use my hypos like right away. <clears throat> I'm further ahead than you? Okay. All right. Well, catch you next time then when it's They're done for. Oh. Why can't I move? What the fuck? I can't 
I'm stuck. Hey, what's going on? It won't let me sprint. There. What the? Okay. All right, I can move now. All right. God, confusing. Okay. Come on. Ooh. He said, "What? Thank you for the sub." Safe. Yeah. Us here. I'm just taking it easy, though. That's all of them. That's not Oh, come on. We made a big fucking mistake. There we go. Leave that one here. That's all of them. This game's being weird, man. How much money was that? Nine thousand eddies. Yeah, maybe I'm getting hacked. Couldn't be. Me, the legendary hacker, getting hacked? Impossible. I think maybe that's just the computer going bananas. Okay. That makes sense. Ooh, Cheeto. Oh, sorry. Deck Yo, December input output. Gonna read that a couple ways. Thank you for gifting a couple subs. Enjoy your sniper rifle. I'm gonna go check it out as soon as I finish this mission. I got a sniper rifle, some pants, and a helmet They're waiting for me back in my apartment. <sighs> Whew! What a day. Let's move on. Find a quiet corner. We gotta process some things. Oh man, look at how cool that looks. Yeah, I fully empathize with folks not wanting to watch for for sake of spoilers. Like I said, that'd be me. What did Songbird tell you? Seem glad that you and I have teamed up. Good. It means she trusts you. Anything else? Song needs our help, Reed. Hansen's nabbed her, holding her, for reasons. God damn it. I can't imagine any worse news than that. Black Sapphire. Said Hansen's thrown a big bash there. We get in, she'll find us. That's the Black Sapphire. A would-be hotel ended up a failed multi-billion eddy investment. Hansa's fortress, smack in the middle of Dogtown. We can't just barge in. Doubt we have anyone on the inside or affiliated who could crack open a door either. Alex and I will pull some strings when our contacts. We do the same. You know, think of who you know around here. Maybe what will happen on an idea, find a way. I guess Mr. Mr. Hands. Yeah. Goes by Mr. Hands. Could ring him. Do it. We'll be in touch. I was wondering if they would leave that for you to connect or just give you an objective to. 
Oh, baby. Um, hmm. Oh, what do I want to start buying? Oh, I guess I'm almost to sprint when crouched. Oh, that's nice. <clears throat> Thank you for the free cyber pants. Hey, I'm glad to glad to provide. go check out my own cyber pants there's yeah you have a I guess it's your ugh. that place is so grimy though all right fine oh ah flashbang myself again oh power of RTX it's really fascinating when like it's really fascinating that it really does take like several seconds for lighting to sort of bake itself in I guess they just distribute the computational load across like hundreds of frames But sometimes that means if there's like a flash frame or something, it's like the game has to repopulate all of its lighting, but that takes that takes a while. What's going on over there? It's interesting because I think it accidentally mimics HDR effects, the way that the human eye gradually adjusts. Maybe, maybe it is just HDR uh, adjusting to having a lot of light shot into the, the world. Yeah, it's a flashbang. Keeps the player uh, lively and active, mentally acute. We found that if we just randomly flashbang the player, they play for 80% 80, 80 longer. We, just, we don't get it. Uh-oh. Do I pretend to feel bad about this? That's interesting that they emotionally color... They make the emotional color of both of these responses pretty clear. Does does V feel bad? I mean, I as the player felt a little bad. Because he helped us, but I guess he didn't really have a choice. And Reed said that he was a bad guy. I do appreciate that they also drop reasons to doubt Reed. Like he just gets everyone killed. This isn't quite hard-ass V, but I'm going to go for it anyway. <laughs> Don't look for a friend in Reed, not him or anyone at the agency. We're a bad influence. I feel like the little truck. I miss my little truck truck. All right. Hands, need a favor. Straight to biz. I like it. Aiming to go to an upcoming shindig at the Black Sapphire. Lusting to dance with the devil. V, the place is inaccessible and treacherous in equal parts. You cannot simply walk in uninvited as opposed to, say, on Peggy Plaza. Uh, Surely there's some way in. Gamer pup. Very well. Thanks for the sub. Frank. A handwritten invitation, unachievable, but I can work something out. I'll need a favor in return, though. Reputation is a currency. Its value derives from collective faith. It fluctuates. Do you understand me? Yeah, I see what you're driving at. Want me to help you earn a little rep? Precisely. Complete a few gigs for me, give my reputation at Dogtown a shot in the butt cheek. The Black Sapphire plans will be yours. All right, Hans. Huh. Got yourself a deal. I wanted to get out of the car. I'm so glad. I'll feed her sane. Huh. Huh. What? It's kind of interesting to hear the, like, cyber migraine sound effect, but not get any of the, the visuals. Hanson's an old dog, well-trained and experienced, heavy security presence, all ins and outs locked up tight. 
Try him with hands. Where's the cyber gunk and glasses? How are we supposed to know you're in the cyber world? Well, I still have my cyber glasses. The gunk's in the in my in my restroom. Did the people demand gunk? You gotta leave them wanting more. The last the day that people stop asking you for your bathroom gunk is the day your career is over in this business. All right. <clears throat> Jeez. Yep, there she is. The Yasha. Damn, it's like got a maxed damage bar. I didn't think its stats would actually be good. Melee damage resistance, interesting. Wild hunt jacket. Gunk dump. All right, let's check out Triweave Muscle Tank. That's the pants that are new in US, yeah. Ooh, strappy. And a 20 armor, that's not bad. Ugh. Howdy. Mm. Like it for now. These helmets are a little much. I guess you can just take the stats and run. I mean, you can't you can't pull guns out here. I want to look at it though, but I don't want to carry it around. I think you have to go out onto the street. Gotta move some gunk. I'm not smart enough to use a sniper rifle. Oh. I didn't even know this was here. Maybe that's why I could hear that sound effect. American Animal Defenders Association? What the hell? Thank you for your timely assistance in rescuing the American short hair you recently encountered. We're delighted to inform you that Deer Mittens has made her way back to Washington safe and sound and is now in a caring, loving home. The transfer also includes a small bonus for your diligent attempt at helping us locate the elusive violet Rose Finch. We will do everything we can to protect this beautiful endangered bird. We hope that this is only the beginning of our long-lasting mutual partnership. Let's fight for a better future for all animals. Huh? All right. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good gun. I don't mind that gun. I think I gotta sell stuff. Yeah, cat is president. 
It's in code. I don't even know. I don't even know how much money they got. Or I got. Let's see. 78,000 is pretty good. Hello, Taiwanese Gape Lord. Should I, should I guess I should start dismantling all this stuff, right? Clothes aren't really worth selling most of the time. Guns, yes. Okay. It's time to dismantle a lot of stuff. Back Rubiconian. I haven't seen any like gear that just has absolutely phenomenal stats. Maybe it'll get there as I keep playing. Maybe doing side hustles and stuff. I should probably keep well, it might be too late. But to say I should have kept one thing that has like 20 armor or something. As long as I have the stat, I'll only really do quick hacks. Oh well, I'm sure I'll find another. Perfect for your ex's funeral. <laughs> You can wear the balaclava for slightly more stealth. Too late now. You can stash all the clothes in your car, unless you want to get the components. I kind of do. The components and just the small amount of experience you get. Okay. Where's my, where's my mattress? There we go. Is this it? No. It's a different one. A different piss-soaked so mattress that I can take a nap in. Is it n near the generator? Oh, here we go. Okay. It doesn't matter if you're good at the game. Exactly. That's a real winner's attitude. And yeah, Captain, I agree. There are some areas in, since the 2.0 update. It's weird because it's like, it'll be super dark, but then if I kind of like look around or adjust my position, it lightens up a little bit. I guess it's it was nighttime. Oh. Wait, what? Okay. Yeah. Maybe Mr. Ray Trace is moving a little slow. <sighs> you asshole. You turd. He still took a dive. Who cares, man? Why did it, ugh. I have to be supportive when he's being a little, a little twerp. Took a dive anyway. Who cares? Oh! Tried to coach some kids. Turned out I'm pretty good at it. There's some premium young talent. Okay, well, you know. 
Okay. I'm actually relieved, you know, even though my boxing career is over. But when one door closes, another opens. Well, that's kind of nice. Um, I do appreciate any video game story that implies that success may be something other than conquering the one-dimensional opponent in front of you or just surpassing whatever current break you have. Well, it turns out this story has a happy ending anyway. Teaching all those young kids to rumble. And I got 5,000 eddies for it. Weird. Okay. Yeah, wholesome errand moment, I guess. Wasn't quite the Rocky movie I was I was hoping for. Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. Gotta give yourself time to grieve, Judy. Experience all at stage. Like she's never experienced you loss before. Let them play out. Shock, anger, depression. It means you're alive. I'd say I'm on anger. I'm gonna stay here for a while too. I can work with anger. So what did you come up with? The Mox Dive, Lizzie's Bar, used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. I'm familiar with this story. Things did not go that smoothly. I didn't say they did. Didn't say they would. But Evie thought Clouds would be safe. You saw how far that got her. How she ended. Be I can't stand by and let things go on like this. Got the mocks to agree to take over Clouds. No, I'm trying to get you. I know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? When Judy asks for something, you have to say yes, though. Fine. She's like one of the only members of the yes. cast. Okay. Who so has that kind of clout? What's the plan? Pan Am. We gotta talk to Michael Maida. If she's not with us, might as well Claire. throw our hands up in the air. Michael Maeda. Hmm? Who is she exactly? Girl who unofficially runs clouds. Good at it too. What's she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. You sure Michael's gonna want to join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Is there any chance she'll slap us around then shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that. Uh, this DLC meshes with the base game? Yeah, so let me see if I can put. Okay, so, yeah, it's just, it's a section of the map. It's this thing. So this is now open now, this whole area. You get to it by going through like a little gate with your car. So it's like, it's kind of separated, but also that's, that's part of the lore. Uh, Dogtown is kind of like the Kowloon of Night City. It's a walled off autonomous zone. Um, but, uh, I've had quests that send me back into Night City to do stuff. So I don't think the new content is, is like just completely cut off here. It's like you only do quests here and then you like go back to 2020 if you, if you step outside the boundaries. So I, th I think it kind of sprawls out, but I, I don't have a good fix on, on the breadth of content just yet. But I do have a good fix on the pressure on my bladder. So I'll be right back. What up? Got me another glass of Law Dog's Private Reserve. My very own batch of gamer juice. How well do you know this, Maiko? I want to take out this uh, camp over here. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. Uh, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. So no Cammy? So no we're there. On the balcony. Got it. I can try to take out Woodman this time. Man, I'm blowing up here. Thanks for the help, V. Haven't seen Aaron this calm in ages. Boy's got a knack for teaching, that's sure. Kids love him too. He'll make a great coach one day as long as he doesn't give up. 
kind of like ah, that's that actually is weirdly meaningful to me. Unexpected maturity in the writing. Having like a quest that has a happy ending, but it's not because you like you beat the thing. It's happy because you you realize that that conflict was meaningless. Let me get this straight. You took a bathroom break and came back with a cup full of your own gamer juice. Yes, it's true. That is, in fact, what happened. I'm glad that there's no more misunderstanding. That would be, that would be terrible. All right. Hup. Hoppity legs. So I think you just have to kill everyone here? Is that the idea? Valuable items, okay. So theoretically I could just... Sneak on in and get the items in the field. Set off a flare? What was that? I think he was standing in one? Fuck! Grab him! Ugh! We got it! I do like the, the slight drop to throwing knives. A little bit of nuance there. No problems. Must have been rats. Come out. Let's talk. Promise. Ah, shit. Okay. I was like, he forgot that he saw me. Or something. I knifed his ass so hard. Uh. What? Oh, what the fuck? Where the f- Yeah, there's- there's like there's some combination of buttons you're just not allowed to hit. I keep trying to switch weapons and it just doesn't do it. I think there's like maybe animations that you can't interrupt with switching weapons. There's like weird little there's weird little gaps in community in uh, controls that I keep falling into, where it's like oh 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 no. I'll look for intruders. <laughs> no intruders. Okay, hold on. That was almost awesome. I really like the idea that you can like hit somebody with a with something hard enough and then the AI just kind of like falls off and in the process they forget that something happened. <laughs> like what if why am I on the ground? AI is at its best when it's earnest but stupid. Easily confused. I also really like that, uh, as long, I guess as long as San Deviston is active, there's a window after an NPC sees you that you can actually kill them before an alarm is triggered. That feels really badass. There were like five dudes in that hallway though. I'm 
somewhere a little more innocuous. No? There you go. Can't you st stash body? Ugh! There's an icon for it and everything. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't very loud. like a whole dungeon? Oh, I thought it was just going to be like one area of dudes. Yeah, optical camo in Sandeviston is just the best. Shit. <laughs> Didn't have to make noise. comfortable. Ooh. This battle theme is okay. one thing that I remember regretting about my first playthrough was that since I was a hacker, I was rarely in combat, so I never really got to hear the combat loops very much. What's going on here? I think it thinks he's still alive? There we go. Yeah, he was. Okay. Close, also. Oh, it's a turret. Fish. Right. My first 2020 playthrough, all dead bodies still moved around like they were wounded. That's not very immersive, is it? Always writhing. Why don't I see my stamina meter? 
It's, it's not there. What the hell? How am I supposed to know? Fuck. It, is it, did I turn it off? There's no way it, it's gone, right? Stamina and oxygen. Am I just... my stamina meter now. Some random dude. Did not see him. God damn. It's a good thing you can you can drop quick saves after stealthing. Holy cow. I got the I got the the vision. Oh, there's a relic thing in there, that's why. I had the I had the feeling. Someone's there by. I was curious if you could do that. You can one shot the bosses. Or the mini bosses, I guess. The actual bosses have like full mechanics and stuff. Hitting it! Reflections kind of bug out sometimes. I mean, that was still cool, but... Maybe I was just not aiming at the right thing? These are fun combat encounters. I'm actually enjoying this quite a bit. Might not be in the range for it. Oh, yeah, I didn't think about I didn't think about that. Yeah, maybe there's a range on it. 
Okay, yeah, it's the it's the tech point that's also putting off the cyber migraine sound effect. They man, they're doing the beep and the little neurotic grinding sound. I can't force the door open, so I'm trying to look for a passageway under the floor. They're pretty good about telegraphing that. Aha! Wait! Deet. Somebody forgot to replace batteries in the smoke alarm! I'm on top of that shit, man. One of the many silent services I provide to my streaming audience is not hearing a smoke detector beep in the background. Dude, just chilling. He's so peaceful. Oh, can't grab him. Hey, all right. I won't worry about it. He's doing. He's he's just minding his business. So is that? I guess that's the re, that's the big reward. Kind of seems like it. There's only so many of those. I think I have two now? Yeah, I need three to buy another thing. That's really interesting. Uh, the, like, weakness bonuses? I don't have any of those, but I could get... Projectile launch system actually did seem interesting. Uh, oh, it's a hold. Okay. At least I don't have to, like, go through radial menu to use it. My fridge is, in fact, running. Oh, I don't... I just came down. And no, I will not catch it. What a quaint era. When you could prank call people, huh? Now I guess just email phishing is the modern day version? I don't know. I feel like I can't draw my katana quickly. Wow, I didn't save. I cannot pull my Hanzo steel fast enough. I guess it'd be a good time to do something like this. Yeah, that's not that... That's not that aggravating, I suppose. Shit! 
Psycho! Sign up for this shit! Shit. Fuck. Oh, God, I didn't know it was a heavy guy. God damn it. Uh, I wouldn't have done that. If I knew. Ugh. I think I killed him with a turret fire last time. I should just do that this time. Kill all the dudes and then kill the turrets. By Ross Ulmer. Oh. Yeah, Joker, I guess so. There's like a flashbang embedded in his body. I think, so, gameplay-wise, it makes sense to do that so that you actually can't just stealth kill everyone in the room. Like, with optical camo, you could just, like, wait for the cooldown every time and then stealth kill everyone, but I imagine if the flashbang goes off, at least some of the AI gets alerted, so it gives you something to deal with. Uh, Helka, I think the game is actually quite difficult. Uh, and no, things aren't really sponges. Things die fast enough. They just kill kill me super super fast. So I'm actually really enjoying playing on very hard. And I, the original game was okay, I guess, on very hard. But it wasn't what I would consider like an intellectual challenge. But the changes to health uh, kind of gate the amount of healing you're allowed to do. And then, like, like the damage that enemies can put on me is is impressive sometimes. So death comes very quickly if I'm not playing conservatively. Saving. Do that again. I definitely think on, like, you just have to play to your build on very hard. I couldn't imagine. Like, you're not even really allowed to play any other way. I guess if I still had, like, a site, like, if I didn't have Sin Deviston, I could be using quick hacks and things, but. Hello, Elon Transfer. Traster, excuse me. How goes Cyberpunk? Goes very well. I just did like a, a side encounter. Kind of just a dungeon filled with enemies, and it's super fun. A variety of. There's already been a. In this one encounter, like a variety of environments. Enemy AI that doesn't just sit there and let me shoot them to death. Oh, do some men. No. Yeah, San Deviston has always been in the game. There's been a very... There's been, like... There are two different kinds of... Plugins that sort of slow time. It's not... It's maybe not the easiest to know that. You have to, like, go to a cyberware clinic. A ripper dock. And then buy the upgrades. Oh, shit. Right. This turret just shredded me before. Let's 
so how do I get in there? Look at that treasure! Look at it! Maybe that's also from the underground area? Oh, you use the dodge one? That's I messed around with that one a little bit. That's really cool when you're fighting another, like, melee enemy. And you're like, Doo, doing cool, sick, sweet dodges. I guess it's pretty sick. Doing a slight little sidestep and seeing all these bullets whiz past you. Hmm. Hmm. It's a whoops button. That's kind of how I use it, yeah. I mean, I even, I guess I even have that perk where if I drop to a certain, I think it's if I get noticed, it auto activates. That kind of helps. Ugh. <laughs> ah! Is that a turret? Yes. Why? 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 It just doesn't work sometimes. When it stops working, I don't know what to do. It was intentionally missing me until I, the second I stopped blocking and then it shot me in the face. That's the other thing I've noticed is, is sometimes when you're blade blocking, enemies will miss you. They just don't shoot you. They don't shoot you. They choose not to. Those bastards. Who told them they were not allowed to do that? There. There. That's how it's supposed to happen. Oh, hey. Oh, you little whore. Ross Ulmer's back. Fan fucking tastic. Like this fool now. Hey, Ross Ulmer. There we go. All right, Ross Ulmer. Man, how did they get him out of there? I snapped his neck. And then now he's all cyberized up and back out in the field. No bell. Give me the biggest, biggest laser you've got, sir. Your spine can't take it. I said the biggest laser. Poetic, tragic. Okay, okay. Here's here's the real goodies, I guess.
Dab Umbra. Man, it's power off the charts. Headshot damage multiplier. Yeah, like everything's better. I guess I haven't upgraded my smart SMG in a long time. Oh, look at this though. Tech submachine gun? Tech can shoot through walls, right? Headshot damage multiplier, three quarter second charge time, fires an off full auto when fully charged. Oh my. Let's just give that a run, eh? Let's see what let's see what happens. Oh man. Fires full auto. Bullet spread from hip fire. Let's see here. Let's recoil. Oh. Let's do that. It's shiny. Awesome. That's so sick. I don't even... Th uh, hold on, let me see the other ones that I picked up. There was the Saratoga. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> yeah, the sight just stays down. Oh no, wait, that is it. Alright. Solomon Reed. Alex tried leveraging some contacts, all busts. One officer willingly, willing to open a back door for us suddenly went dark. Probably choking on dirt or salt water by now. Got one of my own who could give us an outside chance, but that son of a bitch is the best at what he does, not wanting to be found. Let me give ring. Let me give Reed a ring on the telly. On the dog and bone. Forty percent crit chance for damage over time from bleeding. Hmm. 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 I kind of want to branch off from some of the weapons I've been using. I do like throwing knives. Bleeding chance, headshot damage multiplier. And if I can like stack enough multipliers on headshot damage and stealth damage, you can just go around. What, what's kind of interesting is, I guess, since it's all relative now, it's like your build can do or can't do certain things. So if I get uh, damage bonuses for crouching, being in stealth, maybe even coming out of oct or, or doing it in camo, and then headshot, like if you stack up enough of that, theoretically you could one-shot the Skull Dudes. Um, and you can always do that once you have the build that can do it. I guess. And part of that is like upgrading everything or finding the right gear. So that's kind of interesting. That's a really cool way in which not only do the the upgrades give you new actions that you can perform in the game, but also you can change the statistical layer so that your performance in the game has profound differences. I'm into that. Yeah, the ability to like throw knives and, and one-shot the upgraded goons is pretty... That would be pretty outrageous. But I also want to play with this gun for a bit. What's that? <gasps> it's another tech submachine gun that's even cooler than the one that I just changed to. <laughs> yes! An iconic. Ooh. Magazines are like chrome red. Blood pump. 
functions as a powerful health item. Huh. Yeah. Cyberware, which is kind of like the real gear. Same model, just better. Yeah. Although it might be harder to upgrade. No mod slots either. That's the other thing that's kind of a bummer about Iconics. You can only upgrade them. I would like mod slots to matter, but none of the gear I end up using has them. Was way more involved than I thought it would be. What? How about that? You never know what's gonna happen when you snap a random neck. Maybe you'll get some headhunter experience. <laughs> Speaking of, I think I went over the. Yeah. Oh, more armor. That's nice. Oh, that's also nice. Still, the only solo experience I ever got was opening the one door that was wiener enough for, to let me open it, basically. You love to see it. This is weirdly peaceful. All right. Yeah, Gate to Hell, you have almost no solo skill. I think somebody mentioned that you, you get shards by doing the scanner missions and stuff. Ooh! Ah, I gotta like, get it at an angle. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there's a bit of a knock now. Let's just keep it with this. I do like it. I do like uh, impulse quite a bit. Actually, what's? I should try. Let me try some of the other stations here. Let's try. Let's try listening to growl for a minute. One of these, okay. Three minutes. How cool would it be? Ah, if they uh, I turn there. If you if they added like taxi to Cyberpunk, like you could just pick people up, drop them off, make some money, listen to the radio. Maybe they could throw in just some weird conversations for people to have. Now that's gaming. Not gonna make. Well, we'll see. There was that one gig with Bozo the grenade. Yeah, that's true. There's, I guess, there are some missions that are kind of like that. No, 
I didn't want to do that. Oh, crap. Oh! Okay. I just just leaning on the horn, but I think that changed the objective for a second. Oh, boy. Listen up. Other day, heard some chrome jock preaching a high heaven. Ooh, lucky Lordy. Hanson. Thank you for the sub. Praising him for the protection he extends over all those seeking refuge in Dogtown. Mm. Well, can somebody please tell me if... We're all so damn protected. Why the hell are scavs prowling the area, huh? Can anyone feel safe when folks disappear every day? Only then to wind up as chum in a slop bucket? Yeah, protection, my ass. Okay, folks, here's another treat or two. Beats for y'all. What? I think you got the assignment, V. Bullshit! Your Fuck you. Where does it go? Hang on. Gotta go. What? I'm breaking something beautiful. Afraid of something fictional, mystical, mythical, super fucking natural. In a self abusing carnival. Could have been better, V. Much better. But I'll take the hit, in a forgiven mood for once. My man will take care of the rest. I've never been so disrespected. I did get Netrunner experience though. What's that all about? A oh, ram? Yeah. I wonder if that also makes your Sandevison go longer. If it scales with ram. I don't think it does. I don't think ram does anything for me. Yeah, some cy bullshit. With the comeback slash redemption of Cyberpunk, how likely is it we'll get a sequel after the Witcher projects? I mean, it's it's already been announced. So fairly likely. Recoil might help drilling dudes through cover. Might start getting SMG stuff. Because shooting th people through cover will actually be super, super useful in this game. If, if for no other reason than to, like, whittle down... Whittle down enemy numbers before I go in with melee. Oh, I should get this, yeah. When aiming and handbraking? That's so cool! So you can do basically like a gun J-turn and it's all in slow-mo, which will help you like steer and aim. That's so sick. Oh my god, that's so sick. I'm crying a little bit thinking about how sick that is. It's just so neat. Like all of these things that were cool in games 10 years ago because they had like canned animations and canned mechanics are now just things you can do in a game with free-flowing uh, simulation rules. Flipping a car around and shooting at dudes in slow motion, like, you were lucky if that happened in a rail shooting level inside Enter the Matrix or something. Now it's just, like, in the open world, as expressed through you and your play control. Free car. It's the same one I just stole, I think. Okay, I gotta do some... Gigs for hands. Uh, are they all... I guess they just have to be in Pacifica. Well, no, he said specifically that he wanted them to be in... Okay. He wanted them to be here. Now let's get started then. Dogtown Saints. Waiting for Dodger. Prototype in the Scraper. That sounds cool. I like the idea of a scraper. Ooh! Nozetsu. Nozetsu has decided to be a very brave gamer today and redeem the VIP or ban. What's it gonna be? 
so noisy with all this. Uh. Oh. My god. Boo. Boo nuts. Boo nuts or butts, as some people say. Butts to that. Hey, I'm sorry about that. No Zetsu. Thank you for watching, though. Thank you for stacking up enough channel points to even be able to do that. But you know what happens now, right? Sending the coordinates of a vehicle that went dark near I gotta ban you. I gotta ban you, even though you've been an exemplary member of chat. A, uh, a fantastic con contributor to this gaming community. I'm bound by the rules, just like everybody else. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, no. Banned. Okay, there we go. That was close, because if I, if I like, ran into trouble with the law and got killed there, it would have been your fault. No Zetsu. You can't answer right now because you're banned. But that would have been tragic, don't you think? Well, maybe I can buy that car. Uh, Pugil Stick. Thank you very much for gifting a couple subs there. Enjoy your sniper. Uh, it does seem cool. How long's the ban? One hour. Hop into the auto fixer net page. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Different icons. As your true cred increases, auto fixer will feature additional vehicles. Completing vehicle contracts for El Capitan will earn you a discount on the auto fixer net page. Oh, which increases with each subsequent vehicle delivery. The discount resets once you purchase a vehicle. Ah. Okay. I see. Oh, okay, that's all. All right. Wow, yeah. Why wouldn't you buy the most expensive car you can with the biggest discount you can possibly rack up? Look at these discounts! want the M Xion MZ2 or oh man yeah I think it's the Turbo R740 for me how it's stuck in the traffic jam I created. All right, look at this butte. Oh man, blue? Interesting choice. Oh, you can hear all the squeaking of the leather. Scratch on her. Oh! Yeah, caveman. DLSS is on. Pretty mandatory for this game, to be honest, unless you turn off a lot of the ray tracing stuff. I did find it was... I did think it was interesting. Some of what NVIDIA has been saying about how, like, AI frame generation is actually straight up the future of rendering. And that rasterization is a lie. And they're kind of right. They're kind of right. They're kind of right, actually. I 
I wonder if, uh, I wonder if, given enough time, rasterized visuals will look like the past. It'll be associated with a whole era of games. I think at a certain resolution, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to tell the difference at a glance, but those who know. Yeah, Eddie, you're, you're right, everything's an illusion. We all live in prisons of our own perception. As long as it doesn't involve cloud computing, I'm good. Well, it kind of will. Large data analysis is kind of the cornerstone of frame generation and uh, frame interpolation. Doesn't a rasterized image take the inputs into their calculations? Do we have an engine that can handle AI frame gen alone? No, I don't think so. So, what happens right now is a rasterizer passes off. Well, I guess I don't know exactly how the rendering pipeline works in, in games with DLSS, but I assumed it, it just gave whatever's in the frame buffer to the AI interpolator, and then it makes guesses based on the trajectory of pixels, basically. And it makes those guesses based on, on big data analysis. I think they're speaking on behalf of the shareholders' wallets? I suppose. I suppose. I can see it I can see it being far more efficient though to rely on predictive data to render games as opposed to as opposed to like just writing the same math over and over and over every frame. It's a little wasteful to be honest. Um, some really clever game engines find ways to sort of recycle those pixels, but having an AI just be like, it's probably going to be this, is a lot faster than, like, running a lot of shadow math for that algorithm to also say, it's probably going to look like that. And then pass that off to a rasterizer that has to decide how to convert that into pixels. shouldn't be in this neighborhood with this car. I should have brought my little truck truck. Hey, how the, the dash is on the roof? Isn't that sick? Could you give us an example using a scene here to break down a theoretical render pipeline? I, uh, I suppose. I don't know anything about how Red Engine does it. But in terms of like, in terms of video game engines, basically what happens is you have a bunch of math describing how the scene should look and the rasterizer takes all that math and turns it into pixels, essentially. It converts a line drawn from the top of your monitor to the bottom into the actual instructions per pixel of how they should be lit up to make it look like that line. So... Instead of a rasterizer doing that, you'd have AI taking in, draw a line from the upper left to the bottom right, and the AI would be, okay, here's where all the pixels go, and tell the, tell the monitor to do that. And it could probably do that more efficiently than the math that goes into drawing the line and then blurring all the pixels in between to make it not look so blocky. And other rendering passes and things like that. Let's see here. Alex, I finally found my friendly ghost, but it was a non-starter, another dead end. Alex and I have exhausted all reasonable options, V. So if you can't get anything operable from Mr. Hands, we have no choice but to resort to a half-baked plan with half-baked aliases. Not ideal. I trust you understand the stakes. If they catch on, we're still inside Hanson's citadel. We're never walking out. Bam! Bam! Thank you, ma'am! So the shadows, for example, wouldn't need to be ran through a rasterization because they're static for longer? No, e every frame is rasterized. Um, and that's how- that's how your monitor knows how- how to display it. I guess- It's, it's really like skipping all the math that goes into telling the rasterizer what to do. Mm. 
Another steel drum. <sighs> hey, uh, what's going on? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess there's portions of it, but. We should go check the wreckage. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity, Chum. I hear Meyer's stiffs already blew it to bits. The NUS doesn't want that tech moved by Dogtown peddlers. I'll believe it when I see it. They couldn't have destroyed everything anyway. Some pieces are bound to be scattered around. I, I really wouldn't advise that. The stadium is crawling with undercovers these days. You start poking around, they'll bag you in an instant. You know what it is also? I feel like AI generation or um, AI interpolation as opposed to rendering could also play into like distributed computing. In sees just a bunch of poser punks. If all the AI gen happens on your end of things and all they have to do is is feed a small amount of game information to the AI, uh, to the AI generation, the AI engine, rasterizer, whatever. Uh, if all they have to do is like feed your system 10, 5 megabits per second of data, probably we, even less than that, then it can blow up to a 4K image on your end using interpolation techniques in like system on a chip or a uh, hardware dedicated generation techniques. So it can be ultra low power, um, ultra low overhead, or ultra low heat, and also the, the bandwidth of data they have to feed it to make it an entertaining experience on your end can be very small. Kind of leans into, it's not, I guess it's kind of cloud gen. It's kind of a hybrid of everything, but most of the processing power has been offloaded. ago, scavengers hit a transport. The tech vanished, as did the guards. The latter will presume for good. Now, that would just be another day in Dogtown, until I receive word from Zeta Tech's CEO. The transport, though unmarked, happened to be theirs. Among the plethora of tech stolen, there was one precious eye implant and its schematics. The poor scavs seem unaware of its built-in GPS tracker. You'll follow their SIG. Go to the scab's nest in the scraper in the longshore stacks. I've sent you more details in writing. Yeah, Saren. Textures are still the biggest resource in most installs. It sucks. Mid-maps are helpful, but that's extra storage. I'm down for 1K textures being up locally to 4 or 8K. Yeah, that's that's kind of like step one to what I'm I'm thinking about. The way I, like I, I think a good a good mental experiment is to imagine like an AI upres version of Final Fantasy VII or something like that, where you get the 320 by 200 JPEG over the internet. That's the backdrop, and then you have a dedicated image upresing chip in your smart TV that takes that image and blows it up to 4K uh, with whatever human adjustments are kind of along the way. So they didn't have to send you much, and you didn't have to spend a lot of power to blow it up into something that's you know, visually satisfying on your end. So, uh, I can see that being good. <laughs> right now, uh, them using like frame interpolation or frame generation is also a pretty effective and cheap way to create the illusion of higher frame rates. It's kind of like, uh, yeah, wonky mods. Yeah. That's, that's the thing that kind of, I'm, I'm a little, I get a little, I feel like at some point it does start to change the format of video games, you know, when it's not, it's tough because, because at, at its fundamental level, video games are illusionary. It always has been math drawn by a computer to recreate the illusion of video. Um, 
updated updated over frames. So I guess as long as it's that, and that's kind of what AI gen visuals are, it's just a different technique, a more efficient one. But yeah, at some point it, it feels like uh, if it's not plastic and, and metal thinking the frames and sending them directly to your display, it starts to feel a little bit disconnected from video games. It's interesting to think about things like brain dance being a surrogate for video games because they kind of are, but they're also not really. I wonder if, like, traditional format controller video games will will be the format for as long as I'm alive. Or if there will be a new default. I mean, I guess, like, mobile games are probably more popular based on pure player numbers, but... Oh, there's a whole base? Okay. Cozy core rasterized games. <laughs> Organically rendered. Huh? Just hope we catch Eddie's not a bullet. See the tech finds out we got drop on their transport. Come out, damn it. Huh? Huh? What was that noise? Eh? Uh-oh. Huh? Huh? Where'd you go, Blatt? That's about enough. Huh? Hey, Mercy! Thanks for the raid. I'm in the middle of getting hacked. Hoping my camel will come back before that, that happens so I can... Yeah, it'll be fine. Oh. Who's there for fuck's sake? Ah! Shit. I, uh, I got to snap that person's neck, so it was worth it. Thank you for the raid! Appreciate that. Yeah, the music. Combat music is really good. I wish I could have stayed alive a little longer. <laughs> I, wonder if, I wonder if breaking the camera is what leads to that. Do it again. Uh oh, not good. Alright, that one a little better. Never seen any cyberpunk gameplay because I knew I would get jealous. Yeah? Where are you? Don't want to tempt yourself? I think the original is on sale right now. Oh, same reason you haven't watched any Baldur's Gate 3 stuff? PC not strong enough. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I understand. I understand that. It's been more than a couple games Where I've... Uh... You, who you 
I've held off until I could, like, run them proper. Uh, Coturner, yeah, I, I suppose so. Optical camo is prolonged with Zen Devison. It slows time down. I never really timed it, but I just assume. Good enough for most games. More than three to four years old. Plus Steam or stream plus Discord at the same time. I don't want to push the limits too much. Okay, yeah. It's yeah, it's doing a lot of work then. I mean you might be surprised. You might be surprised. But I don't know, out of out of like every game, I feel like Baldur's Gate 3, its experience is gonna survive. Regardless of if you have to turn the graphics down a bit. Cyberpunk, though, is kind of a... It's a visual punch. I will say there is a lot of satisfaction to playing a game what? a little bit. I can't hear you! <laughs> before. What, damn it? Before and then upgrading your business. And I don't fucking believe you! You stupid asshole! Dipshit! Lobotomized morons! Oh, Starfield struggled? Yeah, Starfield's Starfield's kind of intense. Who's a shrinking violet? Is it you? What was that? Oh, you are trapped! It's not working. Shit. What the? Hmm. I don't quite understand the rules about reflecting and taking damage. Oh, maybe on Xbox? Yeah. It's been patched quite a bit. Oh, you can't block a shotgun? Is that just a rule? Up. It's related to stamina. I Yeah, but see, the thing is, like, I expect if I'm not blocking something to look over and see my stamina gone, but sometimes the meter's just not even there. Man, I hate this carol. I've got a chainsaw, block sucker! Pretty nice. Okay, yeah, I was out of stamina. You really only get like one reflect. Oh, it is related to stamina, yes. Oh. Oh no, Mercy, are you, are you an unfortunate victim of the Xbox One DLC? I guess that they still haven't paid that out? I saw an article that people still haven't gotten refunds for that, which is not great. I'm a free man. I have the right to relax. Mm. Uh -huh. I think you're out. Uh -huh. You have something to say about that. Mm. Huh. Now! Oh, they saw. 
Whoa. Where'd you come from? for the sub. again. I don't know what I did. I can't run. Why are you like this? Oh, wait. Was I hacked? Maybe I was hacked. She's blowing up. No, I can't run again. It's not that. Fuck, I think I, I think there's like a button I keep hitting. Okay, now I can run again. breaking gamer news Jim Ryan stepping down as head of PlayStation wait for real I wonder why everything seemed to be going really well interesting maybe he's getting poached away by like a tech firm or something calming hum of computers. Hey, what's up, Herpy? Herpy Mini Wheat? How are you doing? Oh. You, over here. Who's this guy? <laughs> Was that you shooting up the place? I almost feel sorry for them. Almost. Let me guess. Zeta take higher. I think I know why you're here. Client lost some items. Tech stuff. Like, say, a prototype and some schematics, huh? They might have locked me up, but I kept the signal pinging from my prototype. Yeah, it could be personal, another I gig, or health. would send someone eventually. Yeah. 
Uh-huh. Cute. Now the short version. Who are you? Hasan Demir, Zeta Tech Engineer. Only survivor of the... I always appreciated He was always a pretty straightforward businessman. Um, some of the stuff he said in the Microsoft lawsuit stuff was a little silly, but whatever. I, it's it's all part of the theater. Time. I don't really hold it against him or anything. Not that he gives two shits what some random streamer holds for or against him, but... Even for scavs, jumping a corpo convoy is next level gone. He certainly elevated PlayStation into Something's a pretty incredible brand. It was an undercover operation. Minimal Developed security, the film side of things. Secrecy. Or at least that happened under his watch. So Who scavs knows randomly what could be attributed to him specifically. Nah, no way. Someone rat you out. Sell the product. Sell out the client. Look, I don't fucking know. We'll cross that bridge later. Can Do you think Sony is mad that he failed to block the Activision merger? I don't think enough to... First of all, it's not really up to him. He was just a player uh, in the scene, and sure, he tried his best. Shouldn't we be going? Uh, he got, yeah, not enough to oust him, really. And honestly, he did pretty much everything he could have done. And he got, he delayed it by quite a bit and ended up costing Microsoft a lot of money and time. So honestly, he maneuvered that situation about as well as anyone could expect, I think. But again, what what the fuck does, does, it, does that matter? We can't waste time. But he, he like, the FTC basically took his statements and ran with them to, to bring lawsuit against Microsoft. So, like, that's pretty great. <laughs> if you can convince a regulatory agency to, to sue your competitor and slow them down. Yeah. Your recent video on Xbox dipping out of the game business if Game Pass doesn't meet expectations? What about it? But yeah, that's a thing. Shouldn't we be going? Fixer didn't mention a rescue op. Only the prototype. You have it? Oh, it has you worried? Oh, I have it. Nothing lasts forever. Wait, wait. Tell me you planted that tech in your own damn skull. Well, I figured it was the safest way. The border control scans don't recognize unreleased tech. In retrospect, it does seem uh, rather foolish. Then again, honestly, if like hours of life, we're a package deal. The prototype and I. You won't get it while I'm here. I won't, like Microsoft has done good oh, in gaming. Sense, it's just one. to say that they've how gonk you gotta be huh. chip yourself with prototype tech. No offense, V. They've brought games into course, existence and lately, especially, it, facilitated made a guinea pig out of it. people's access to gaming. Um, but also this the like. The force that tech money can exert in the gaming space is concerning, and it definitely changes the texture of how games are made and why games are made. But yeah, competition is good. I think on I think like Xbox needed Xbox as an entity, not Microsoft, but Xbox did need to be able to make some plays to counter the momentum that Sony is building. Sony has fire hoses of money flowing into their business. And with the deals they were starting to cut, it was like it's difficult to compete fairly once they once they're going around buying up exclusivity from everybody. Um, that's kind of the def definition of anti-competitive. So Microsoft's fighting money with money, basically, and that's what competition ought to be. Sort of, as long as it results in more choice and and better products for the consumer. So it will in the meantime. And that's good. Uh, if if Microsoft bows out, then pretty much nobody can compete with Sony, and and Google and Amazon have tried. And if it's not them, then who? Apple maybe, but they're kind of trying, sorta, but not really. Yeah, I, <laughs> Gabe. Gabe already made his his garden though. He already has his money factory. What do you think of Enforcer basically collapsing? It's not great. It's the earliest and loudest warning sign we have of consolidation being bad. Prototech's capricious. Erratic. For a Zeta Tech engineer, sure took a big gamble planting that thing. Indeed, a gamble. Yet, the alternative was far more dangerous. Right. And Big Daddy Zeta Tech? All cool with letting some Dogtown Ripper fuck around with Papa's Price's prototype? Papa was not informed of the decision. Now, can we please take this conversation outside? You know what? I thought it was El Mojo Loco, but there's an N in there. El Mojon Loco? Thank you very much for the sub. 
Why all the drama over some measly Appreciate implant? It. Some implant? Measly? Please, this design is a potential Kiroshi buster. <clears throat> we at the firm learned some Santo Domingo riffraff stole it from Arasaka Industrial Park. Naturally, we investigated. I was to conclude the sale at the stadium. Yeah, Counter Strike Not 2. Which so is a beep on Arasaka's radar. And well, here I am. I mean, even even Valve was getting really stagnant until Epic came along and started throwing money around. Time. It seems like it seems like the it seems like the paradigm now is that you have platform holders who won the last like ten years. They won making digital platforms, or they invented a service where their digital platform is the thing. So now they're Shouldn't just getting be scads of revenue. I mean, Apple's in this boat for sure. The only people who can compete with them are tech companies who get their scads of revenue from somewhere else. No one else can really even think to compete with these systems that have been built and iterated on for 20 years. So yeah, hopefully. Ah, reminded you to renew your Prime sub. I'm glad to, I'm glad that happened, Thornius. A shame. Can't waste time. To be ashamed to sit through ads when you don't have to. Not here to rescue hostages. Look, if you want the implant, you need to take me to a ripper. Extracting it is a delicate process. Prototype's all I need. It's condition, whole nother gig. That still leaves the schematics. Uh, listen, I can show you where they're holding them. So that's your scheme, huh? Fine. Try anything funny, though. There is a time and a place to be funny. This isn't it. Confused bystander. Yeah. Thanks for the sound. Now, to crack open this door. Bypass the security. If you can't, the guard room's nearby. Maybe they have a passcode. Right. Back in a nanosec. Johnny? Nothing? No pithy comeback? The, the good news is, it's like, it's kind of easy to see a see all that corporate maneuvering and kind of feel sad you know that games are just a like games and the money in game players pockets are just like f fodder there is still a really healthy kind of middle layer of gaming where earnest publishers seek interesting projects and put them out and earn enough money in return i think more and more the the like the big the big stake games are going to become less and less interesting, especially for people who've spent their lives playing games. Maybe I'm projecting a little hard here, but I think I think you'll you'll see kind of like with film, there's going to be a homogenization with the games that or there already has been a homogenization in games that cost hundreds of millions of dollars to make. And frustratingly, they will they will probably avoid from doing anything interesting or daring. So that's fine. The opiates of the masses can be what the tech companies fight about, and all the interesting games can kind of come from the the more boot to the ground developers and publishers that don't need FIFA level uh, games of service revenues to, to exist. Three. For a while there, uh, it was looking like no one would even try to make games unless they could be the most played game in the entire world. Like that was the only reason, and the only p projects that would get greenlit. But nowadays, it seems like uh, there's more robust companies. Yeah. As budgets grow, products have to have wide appeal. That's not necessarily a bad thing. There can still be a lot of uh, fun to be had in broadly enjoyable games like Diablo 4, Spider-Man 2. Well, that's probably going to be fun. It's really expensive. Oh, going to crank out some space-time piracy before bed. All right. See you later, Mercy. Have a good day. Good night, rather. I'm in the middle of doing some Starfield stuff. I need to finish a planetary survey so I can sell the data, so I can register my ship, so I can sell my ship. I just want to get rid of it, but I want to earn some money on it. I'm too invested at this point. All right.
Well, I see Zeta Tech spared no expense in hiring a real professional. Now your time to shine. How do you know where these schema docs are at? Their workshop. The scavs took me there, forced me to remove the security protocols on the tech they'd swiped. Uh huh. Lead the way then. And no gonk moves. You'll make more money on selling survey data than the actual ship. Yeah, I've I've accepted that. I just don't want it <laughs> anymore. I don't think there's it. Can you just like throw a ship Jesus. away? Is that? Just put it on auto autopilot and send it into the sun. This? It's barbaric. It's like a it's a trashed up. Um, Crimson Fleet ship. I suppose this would have been my and it's already damaged because I shot it to shit. So it's like I I don't want to repair it, but also I hate flying around in a broken, crappy ship. Nearly burned here. Ah. Hey, Zezanizzle. Good to see you. Consumer audience for games has only exponentially grown, so you don't need everyone to buy your game to make investors happy. You can cater to more specific audiences rather than compromising to draw everyone. Yeah, it's really nice. It's really nice, Co Turner. I think I think there was an uncomfortable growing pain in the 2010s when ooh found it. Cream, got it. Stick close. We'll get you out of here. Can I keep that? Wait. I heard you slaughtering them, which means so did half of Longshore. This place is about to be swarming with scavs. You got an idea? Let's hear ah, it. John, thanks for the sub. Drawbridge. Glad to contribute to the health of the stream. Been enjoying the content. Thanks again to the person who gifted me one. Hey. I've seen the scavs use it. Thank you very much. I suppose it's their emergency exit from the scraper. Good to have you around. We'll vanish before they realize. Little to no risk. See? Not as burdensome as you thought I was. I could have done this myself. It's time we were on our way. This is pretty cool, though. A big old set piece clicking into place to let you out. I think back to Assassin's Creed 2010s when you think of that, Couple or that game steps. stagnant. Then keeping it quiet. So it's out of sight. It's yeah. That to me, Assassin's Creed One is actually an example of it not being stagnant. But that was right at the beginning. There was a lot of that was when every company was founding their IP. And that was really fun because there was a lot of originality. And since nobody knew what would work, people with powerful creative visions were getting the big budgets. So you had these like artistically daring games that were also being produced to really high values. But that that backed off really quickly. Um, after, over the course of like four or five years, I think I think you can I bring this up a lot, but you can really look at Mass Effect for a extremely pronounced narrative of this evolution of design and aesthetic how like risk taking just got screened out completely and any like artistic reference that wasn't so br just like massively broadly palatable just got dropped by the wayside. It's like they gave their, their all right at the beginning of gen seven. Yeah, exactly. Zezanizzle. a nizzle that, that arrow where you got all those like new IPs that were, they were really cool and interesting and daring. And then they all got condensed down into their most like quick turnaround, quick release, uh, stretched content kind of form it was interesting to see it was interesting to see developers react in real time to an ever-expanding market and the things that seemed like that market wanted anyway i have to use the restroom i'll be right back okay i'm back <clears throat> sorry i had to refill my water carafe auto farm if they don't spot us we'll be just fine Come on, Hassan. Keep it together. Oh, Barf Step, you're off to a main skin concert? Mon skin? Mm. Now to disable the bridge. Better not have scavs on our backs, no? Huh. Wow. We're lying about being an engineer, huh? Hey, as long as it stops working. I was wondering if they were going to leave that up. I don't know how to pronounce it either. Should be safe here. You shouldn't have to. I owe you one, truly. It was getting quite ugly back there. Sure thing. Not like I'm leaving empty-handed, right? 
Well, uh, I suppose I can take it from here. I'll tell my superiors you did one hell of a job. Well, why would I sit down for that? Oh, I'm no, no, down. no. You'll sit tight while I call my fixer, grab some transport. Sure, he'll want to handle the prototype personally. No, no, wait. I, uh... I can't go back to Zeta Tech. You know what? Getting on my nerves now, Chum. You get one answer. What the fuck's your deal? And my deal, uh... Uh... I don't intend to return to Zeta Tech. I plan to grab the prototype and vanish into Dogtown. I had a buyer. I was waiting on the signal to run. Then the scavs attacked and everything went to shit. Going back, it... It would be a death sentence. Huh. Any thoughts on the Unity drama? None, really. Um... Shouldn't we be going? I mean, it's it's easy to, like, cluck my tongue and sit in judgment. That's the... But I, it honestly doesn't really affect me. Um... It's, it's kind of a business-to-business -business issue. And it's shitty, but that's kind of it. Like, there's nothing really left to say. We can't waste time. Uh, I just kind of hope that... I mean, I know the game's business is not easy. And things like this make it much harder. But I do hope that it's possible for games to take... Or games companies to take a longer scale view of their own businesses and kind of... I don't know. It's, it's a really complicated problem. I would like for game companies to develop and maintain their own platforms. But that's such a complicated prospect. Going? I mean, that has its own issues, too. Jeez. You could have, like, four engineers hold the entire company hostage, basically. If they're the only ones who know how to do a thing. So, I don't know. It's tough. It's... I guess it's out of my depth, really. Um, the, the consequences of it and how it might affect a business. And how that, that ricochets down into game production. Are practicalities I'm unfamiliar with. <laughs> Jim Ryan found dead in Miami. Oh, no. He left Sony, and minutes later, he's assassinated. How'd you imagine playing a Megacorp? <laughs> Must have had some kind of plan. I did, though I couldn't These are do days it of consequence, my, my fellow I gamers. I arranged a buyer at Dogtown Stadium. We would have met, were it not for these savages. And once his Sony protection buyer evaporated, you, though. the Xbox assassins. True. So I had the prototype implanted. It became my bargaining chip. He knew he couldn't harm me without jeopardizing the tech. I was to vanish during the convoy's inspection at the border. I arranged an unmarked car, bribed the guards, but then the ambush, well... Why are you so hell-bent on clipping this tech? Do you even have the faintest idea how much it's worth? Oh, more in your life, right? Ah, I have no family, no friends. I gave my life to the corporation. The sacrifices I made. And for what? What life? The bastards stole it. The money from the prototype would have afforded me a fresh start. Yeah, Elon Tra... I think I said Elon Transfer. I'm sorry about that. Elon Traster. My gosh. I have to actually read people's names instead of just looking at looking at it and getting a vibe. We can't waste Anyway, time. apologies. Um, yes, it's it's been known that Unity was not running a sustainable business. All right? So he, here's where here's where I'm getting out of my lane a little bit. But it's kind of known Unity isn't stable uh, or or like anything any thinking person, any business person looking at that situation is like they're gonna they're gonna like pull the rug at some point. That doesn't make it okay to do it. But their business strategy was kind of obvious. They didn't keep the amount of money they were burning hidden. Or they're like swelling headcount or anything. Now, I don't know. Um, do you, I, again, it's so easy to armchair to armchair CEO and say that that companies should protect themselves from being overly reliant on services that are that, that are like that obviously have an expiration date, even if you don't know what it is. 
but then again, I'm not in the business and I don't understand. Like everything costs something, right? Everything costs something in this world. So if you try to hedge your bets, then you make fewer games, you employ fewer people. So it's all connected. And I, you certainly can't, um, can't accuse anyone of being bad at business for, for taking the advantages they're offered. Uh, so I don't know. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. It's complicated. So, so really it's just the whole situation is mostly just mind my own business. Cause I don't know. I don't know how other people run their businesses. I don't know the information they're privy to. I don't know what they were told, what they believed, any of that stuff. It just sucks. Yeah. Best case scenario is they get purchased up and the reputation is reset with the new owner. Yeah. Trick mode. It's in terms of managing PR. Yes. I don't know that that's going to make the company profitable, which is the other problem that they're clearly trying to trying to deal with. But yeah, they they could do an image reboot or they could use one. They just have to shut up. Just give the next six months away, um, do, have private conversations. And then, yeah, then you can try to rebrand in the eyes of the public. <sighs> that's what CD Projekt eventually did. They just learn to be quiet and patch the game and then and then later down the road hopefully you can seize on a moment or manufacture one you know release of phantom liberty what have you where you can you can ask people to consider you again with uh with fresh terms wait how in the hell do you think that was gonna go i tell my fixer sorry shit out of luck prototype bounced just say it got lost moved i don't know i cut the signal your fixer can have the schematics. They're just as valuable. You connive and fuck. Should have schemed a little harder before you squirmed into a Sokka Zeta scavenger shit witch. I'll see you, Dejan. I fucked up, okay? If I'd known. Please, if you send me back, I'm dead. Newsflash, Choom. Dead already. They'll find you and snuff you before you walk with that tech. Then, I give up. Kill me. I'm not being dramatic. I'd rather die by your hand than their tortures. This is one gig out of several. Man, this is escalating. This is a pretty cool storyline to attach to a side quest. I kind of want to play this out a little hard ass though. You can quick save? No, you cannot. Doing it my way. Call him my fixer. You sit tight and shut up. Right. Okay. Maybe Mr. Hans won't care. I beg you. Please don't send me back to the corp. Hans, Sitch got tangled. Rescued a Zeta Tech hostage. Sole survivor of a scav ambush. I see. This impedes your assignment. How, exactly? Well, my chum here planted the prototype in his eye socket. Gonna need a ride. Inconvenient, but not disastrous. Coordinates, please. His escort back to Zeta Tech will arrive shortly. Hmm. Don't send him back to Zeta Tech. Like you to find him a mean chrome dock, extract the tech, and let him walk. Hmm. I assume you have a kind benefactor in mind. Man, to they're gonna make me pay for it. Operation. Come on, Hans. You gotta have some favor to call in. Won't cost you a damn any. True. No. Consider this a gesture of goodwill, a solid foundation for our mutual cooperation. I have to say, I'm intrigued, V. Is this man worth the effort? Know all too well what those Zeta pricks got in store for him. So I thought, you know what? Fuck him. Done and done. I appreciate you having my back there. Truly. Yeah, now we owe hand something. I wonder if that's gonna I wonder if it's gonna work out like that. Or if they just let you walk through conversations with implied consequences, but they still let you get a happy ending for free. UV? Hand sent me. <laughs> Here for the schematics. Taking a hit of spearmint. Yeah, here you go. Pre, I'll take it from here. It's 
sly bastard survived an ambush, gave scabs a slip, and bamboozled a corp. But at some point, everyone's luck runs out. There is a shocking amount of Johnny in this expansion. Commendable work, V. My people will take it from here as per our agreement. Expect your compensation shortly. Should I should I enable alternate Johnny? I'm going to. The answer is yes. I feel like swapping it up a little bit. I forgot. That was one of the DLCs from a long time ago. Stuck in your dome, yeah. Hey Zumbini. DLC's great. I just did like a side gig that was like a whole dungeon plus a pretty cool little story. Yeah, emo Johnny? Yeah. Where? Oh, here we go. Here we go. God, it was there. All right. Ots, alt rock, dirtbag Johnny. Ooh. Speaking of, new Hives album, pretty good. I only listened to it once, but there's some weird stuff on there. I'm into it. And then they, like, have somehow kept their sound. <laughs> Johnny Nickelhand? Uh, not quite. I'm only like 30 seconds to Johnny. Okay, do I still have my experience buff? No. Time to go check out my hovel again. I'm like right here. Oh, I still need to sell stuff too. Hmm. I guess there's some drop boxes around. A car. Let's do that. I love doing these. No. Now, how long you been on this, man? Tell me this. One more time. I, I need to go. Mm. I need to go feed the cat. Take? That's right, damn it. Come on. Hey. Side quests are more involved this time around. That was exactly what I wanted from this game. Uh, it seems like it. I haven't done a ton of them yet. Uh huh. So maybe just the one I picked was accidentally a little more involved than the others. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Should have just used melee. You started your new playthrough yesterday? Are you fucking high? <laughs> you playing games with him? It was kind of nice to have that period of time to totally get reacquainted. That was much smoother. Now. I think Cyberpunk could benefit from a companion system. I mean, like an NPC that follows you around and talks. I mean, you get those sometimes in some quests. But. I mean, there's the phone. People can just call you whenever. The, I've had this song suck in my head. Don't bang around or I'll lose a buyer. Uh-oh. Believe in you, Chumata. It's the first time. Oh. Okay. What are your thoughts about Mortal Kombat 1? I haven't played it yet. Uh, so I don't have many. It seems okay. Alright, it's fine. I didn't really see any like bold declarations of intent. It just seems like another Mortal Kombat. But maybe I'll maybe I'll figure that out when I play it. It doesn't need to. Ha it doesn't need to like reinvent anything though. 
So it's not like I'm holding that against it, it's more like... With something that's usually as vibrant and bombastic as Mortal Kombat 1, this seemed like weirdly reserved. Like they wanted to be conservative with a reboot. Yeah, I think they thought just the fact that it's a reboot and packing it full of cameo characters would be enough to like excite people. And maybe it is. I think they also want to shoot low in terms of like bombast to have somewhere to go. You can't reboot into the craziest thing because then how are the games after gonna scale up? So I don't know. I don't necessarily mind the same old, same old. Nine is very like, it's very just like tropey. All the characters are just, they're like archetypes and there's not any nuance or, it's just kind of smarmy and stupid. And it's kind of my favorite. But maybe I'll, I misremembered a lot of the cooler stuff in the MKX storyline, so. I do appreciate the action scenes. Those are ridiculous. Maybe there are like super sick, nasty beatdowns in MK1 in the cutscenes. I would, I mean, that would go a long way if they just have immaculate, like Hong Kong style uh, beat em ups. Oh. Can you mod your car? with a talking radio, like Kit in Night Rider. Not, not as much, no. You can drive a talking car, though. There's an AI taxi cab service in Night City. I don't like everybody shooting, huh? I gotta protect the paint here. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. There are beatdowns. Some of the best Netherrealm has animated, probably. All right. Sold. Do love to hear it. Yeah, I'll check it out. This was kind of a weird thing. Um, I got in contact with the right PR person and asked for like a, a code for it to stream it. Um, and the, like, the FTC di disclosure that you have to agree to would have required me to, like, have a thing on screen at all times, forever, saying that I had received the game. I was like, damn. That's pretty intense. I wonder if that's going to get more common. So I was just like, I'm going to play this for, like, months. I can't, I, like, I may forget. I think it would, it's subject to like, it just gives them the right to take it down, I think. Not that they would, but they could. What about a GPS with a pirate mouth? I don't think a mod exists for that. At least not in the, in the game as it exists, but maybe on Nexus mods, something like that. I like your imagination, though. Not a lot of pirates in Night City. I guess scabs are the closest it gets. So the lights are just kind of there. Nobody, none of the NPCs actually follow the traffic law. Oh my god. Alright, I'll just... Oh, they're going. They're moving. Alright, sorry, sorry. Oh, come on. See, what is this? It's 
right. City traffic, man. Ah. Uh, okay. Call me Jason Statham, because this car has been transporter tued. This garage. Not gonna lie, V. You got a gift. Thanks for the help, V. My chum will do the finishing touches. Little token of my appreciation is waiting for you in the drop line. <laughs> Do love driving across Night City. I love any reason I have to do it. Okay, now I gotta go to a drop box. I gotta go feed my cat. There's a drop box right outside my my apartment. Is it this one? No. Carpo Plaza. I thought it was like around here, eh? Yeah, that's it, right? Yeah. Why was I not seeing it? What do cars run on in the cyberpunk universe? Chew 2! Synthetic gasoline. Enjoy the water. Average temperatures There's some signs for it, which look pretty cool. Blame me for that one, all right? Caught some air there. Who wouldn't? Man, this is like those TikToks of people weaving through traffic. Big Huss, hey. Oh, God, the slides. Uh-oh. Oh, no. They're mad. They're going to be mad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Big Hust, thank you very much. Oh, no. All units be advised. Suspect Ooh. remains in the vicinity. Instantly got cloudy. Hey, sir, just walk right through me. Just blend into the crowd. Oh, no, there's cops there. I forgot, I forgot. Go, go, go up, go up. No! Damn it! Shit! Shit! Don't leave me alone! It 
it's bad, it's bad, it's bad. It's really bad. Oh, it's bad. Ah! Okay. Oh, come on, come on! Ah, damn it. Everybody running. Ugh, there's no reason to act a fool, all right? Sheesh. Ugh. Right, and we are on our way. All right, no problem. Yeah, like nothing happened. Top notch. Yowza, okay. Uh, still pretty far away from my apartment though. You know what? I'll walk it out. I'll walk this one out. We'll just stick to my feet this time. It's pretty fun to cyber, sci parkour. The echo that you get when there's like um, audio playing outside is really cool. Can I go through there? Okay. Hopefully, everybody will just let bygones be bygones. Man, that's pretty. Ah. Oh. The air glowing like that? How does this game not make your PC explode? Because I have poured tens of thousands of dollars into it. Every sub upgrades my PC by one more megabyte of RAM. And I have one million subs, so, you know, you do the math. But yes, uh, I mean, I, I, truth be told, I really don't spend money on anything except video games. So, I'm uh, blessed enough to be able to afford some, some decent hardware. And then I keep it, keep it tuned and running well. I'm in there with the oily rags and the... The wrenches every night, tinkering, gears and stuff flying out. Watch the first episode of live action One Piece yet? I have not. I don't know. I don't know. One Piece is okay, I guess. I watched some of the anime and I was like, okay, it's a thing. Everyone seems to really like it, so that's great. I'm happy. Happy for them. Happy for all of you. Oops. Oh, no, that's fine. Finally, anime is real. It's strong. And powerful. Happy new gun owner, I hope. Cracking the anime code. Yeah, and the, hopefully they're doing quite well for it. There's definitely like a whole... A whole section of enthusiast media and pop culture that Netflix has a good angle on. So... I'm happy that people are happy. I'm kind of I'm kind of surprised. Out of almost all shows, I feel like that is... The one that would be very difficult to convert into live action. But I guess they did it. I guess the Mad Lads went and did it. All right, let's feed this cat. Is it down here? Wait a minute. Next, is it the end of eastbound traffic? There's an elevator that goes right up here. How did I not know that? I gotta look at where that is. I think it's 
down this way, right? The hell that? Oh, Adi Shankar's Devil May Cry? Is the thing? No, I haven't seen the trailer. That seems new. Is that new? Every time I think something's new, it turns out it's been there the whole time. How am I not? Uh, finally. There's our guy. Still no lizard. We could have a little little chit chat. Ooh. Huh. Probably uh, not how you pictured your grand reunion with Alt. I knew she'd change, transform. All started when she went silicon, hit the net. You've changed too, you're someone else. I've had fuck all to do with it. Alt's out there, frackling, globulating, becoming a bigger and better AI. And I'm here shriveling, spending time with you. Ah, you're bitter. Thought we'd talk, truly, madly, deeply, like we used to way back when. <laughs> I like that. Good call out. You mean like making a scene, manipulating her? Say what you want. That was real. Human. I wanted to broach another topic. I want to keep talking with him about it. Oh, you get to keep, like, going through the conversation trees? So Rogue knew about Alt. What about Alt? Did she know about Rogue? Want to talk about that? You got to start thinking larger scale. Much larger. Alt and Rogue. Tip of the Asperg. <laughs> what? <laughs> Probably, uh, not how you pictured your grand reunion with Alt. I knew she'd change. Did you think she'd throw her arms around your neck? Guess I just never thought she'd stop giving a fuck about me so completely. Thought we'd talk, truly, madly, deeply, like we used to way back when. To fix what you busted, or to prove something to her? Another cigarette. <laughs> well, I myself wrong, dead wrong. When I told her we had nothing, were nothing, and shared nothing but sex. That was long ago. You're talking decades. Oh, he's got feelings. Not to me. Don't forget, I've spent the last fifty years stuck in my head. Have a nice night, V. Huh. I can't tell if it's just the dialogue now or whatever, but Johnny seems like a lot, a lot more, uh, what's the word? Remorseful? Yeah, he's really a soft boy deep down. I didn't get a whole lot of that in other playthroughs. He was just kind of an asshole who was like thrashing for a, a reason. Oh, he's a bit more reflective, I guess. Yeah. It's the haircut, maybe. Where's this cat? I thought it was like right over here. A uranium mine collapse that occurred just outside Novosibirsk in southern oh, it Siberia. It goes into the garage. Huh. with a happy ending. As you recall, 35 miners became trapped deep underground following a high magnitude earthquake. But thanks to their Suze Lake 2 hibernation implants, the miners were able to over here oh I think it's over here look. ah hey here look go. see that Steve, Johnny. Is 
Cyber Kitty. I can't wait to have two pets. <laughs> All right, uh, more gigs, I guess. Is there anything else I needed to do? I mean, I guess I could install the, the new Sandeviston. If they let me keep it. I think they did. Johnny's been having to think. Hello, pee pee poo poo monster. Man. Take this fancy garage. Soya Sil Machistador! An explosion of taste! I wonder if I can summon my car inside the garage. That'd be- whoa! It looks like shit outside. I guess it's like 2 a.m. Yo, 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 my tumor, shroomers, and fumers! Mr. Whitey here! Drop that milk toast kibble and rush to the nearest store for a taste of sweet, 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 clean speed! Cause life is too short to be slow! Tiancha, come quad for the soul. <laughs> Can't summon a car, unfortunately. But there's cars right here. Okay, let's get back to it. Um, waiting for Dodger. Dogtown Saints. Treating symptoms. Hmm. Car's got some pep. God damn it. The time of day affects the traffic patterns. Yeah, a little shunt, a little tump, a little car nudge. Is that what? I don't understand the beeps. Does this car come equipped with like a police scanner or something that does that? Uh oh. This might get traumatic. Ugh. any way to get Twitch to stop telling me about the infiltrator pants. Yeah, I thought there was like a dismiss message or something. Maybe on the drops page you can just turn them off.
Ah, <sighs> all right. What a refreshing drive. Yeah, take these pants. Get in. The fastest way is to just take the pants. Accept your cyber pants with gratitude. Stella? Something the matter? Get down. Can't get spotted by Dodger's men. If it makes you feel better. Listen, this is serious, okay? You don't mess with Dodger's people. Okay, <laughs> sure. It's pretty comfy, actually, this. Need your help with my fiance Bill and his buddy Charlie. They're trapped in the I building. Think she's supposed to be leaning street. back. Hans mentioned they're both NCPD. Both oh. grade A gonks, too. Sometimes do side gigs around town. Wanted to cut a deal with Dodger, but things obviously went south. Well, Bill called me from inside, said only that. Get that core workout in. It's bad. And if I don't get help, Dodger will paint the walls with their brains. So you, Bill, and Charlie are all badges with a whole precinct full of badge tombs at your back, but instead you call a merc. Dodger's not exactly a legit businessman. Can't call dispatch for this. They'll crucify us. Huh. Yeah, verbose toast. Good time for a gamer stretch. So, Bill's your fiancé. Charlie's his partner. What else can you tell me about him? Bill... Bill's a good guy, but Charlie, he's like the big older brother that gets you into all kinds of shit. Okay, so we don't like Charlie. Look, Night City's turned all of us into who we are, but Charlie, he's a fucking magnet for trouble. Always has been. It's bad. Nothing else. It's really bad, Stella. Please get help. I love you. <laughs> Sweet of him, but not really what I was after. When I asked what happened, he said it was too complicated for a quick hollow. Back when I was a kid, used to see badges deliver packages to the Tigers. Worked out for everyone. Mostly. Until you run up against a guy like Dodger, a dealer with ties to Hanson, <sighs> tried to warn him, but they never fucking listen. Just please try oh. not to wipe Dodger's men. You'll make things go from bad to worse. Oh. Take this oh. access card. Dodger took over an abandoned NCPD precinct. <laughs> Security systems are still up and running, so this should get you in without a hitch. Upsides of last gen NCPD tech, huh? Save them. Joe Malik? Please. You wanna give Can you please give us a taste and remind us how the hit song Arms Wide Open by Creek goes? I'd be delighted to. Ah, <clears throat> thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, thank you, thank you. It's my hope in the future that I can be a uh, a lounge singer. A Twitch lounge singer. Tears? Yeah, that's that's normal. Normal to cry. That's Creed for you. Supposed to be here like an hour ago. Yep. Except he's not. We don't need that. Yeah, I'm not supposed to kill these guys, right? karaoke stream I think I'm well I guess it's probably true of most people but I think I'm better at singing bad on purpose than singing good on purpose but yeah I need to play rock band again Jesse piece of shit Turner to find the dumb fuck who swiped my powder. Dumb fuck's name is Jesse Turner. An unhackable scab shard. Wall.
Queen. Nice. My sacrifice. fair you know what I deserve to get seen there I'll admit it I'm not too good for that understand I don't think they give I don't think they care about me killing these people maybe they do So I just have to find Bill and Charles. Switch to the right. Use it. My right or your right. My fucking right. asking Charlie or Bill it's Charlie so Stella did manage to find someone thank fuck okay let's try to get this open fucking slab this thing little help Won't bu maybe I'll get back. solo experience for this Ugh, so strong Jesus fucking Christ I know what the fuck don't worry. Not my blood. <laughs> the hell happened? Uh, better see for yourself. It's just through here. What in the... This is Bill. Oh, like fell off there. Hi. Who's your friend? Oh, me? Just told you, uh, I'm Bill. Thanks, Bill. Got that. No, I mean the dead fucking body on the table you somehow failed to mention to Stella. We, we, we didn't kill him, okay? We, we, we swear. Hey, long as you're paying, I'm just looking at two innocent cops standing over a dead body. Go on. Tell him about your genius idea. My idea? You're the one Plan who set up the deal with was Dodger. rock fucking solid. If only you didn't leave a bag of drugs in front of a junkie. Synth Coke overdose? Hmm. You say drugs? Oh, you go! No, you! I swear to fucking God. When like this. Choom over here clips Dodger's shit. Hightails it to NC. We catch wind, Dodger's put out a bounty to bag him. Bring back his nose candy. Bump right into him during a routine stop. Dumb fucking luck. Choom was carrying seven ounces of Syncoke. So we cuffed him. 
took him here. Jim swallowed seven whole ounces? That, that even possible? So we're here, waiting on Dodger, when Bill plops the baggie on the table like it's nothing. All of a sudden, this gonk turd yells, fuck you pigs, and stuffs the bag in his mouth. Could have had a food tube implant, like a deep, wide throat. Yeah, like the one your mom's got. Fuck you even uh? talking about, Bill. <laughs> Couldn't get him to just spit it out? We tried to make a trek, oh, tr track it, track, fuck. Poke a fucking hole in his neck. No dice. Bag must have broke because he got all foamy at the mouth. Started spazzing out and then just croaked. That's when we started to panic. This fool gulped tens of thousands worth of eddies. What the fuck else are we supposed to do? If the bag already broke, why bother trying to play Operation? We panicked, all right? Shit happens. Wow. They really did try to dig it out of him. It's all gone. Dissolved. And now Dodger's gonna end us. So you bring him the thief who swiped his dope. Only now there's no thief. Or dope. Yeah. It's about the gist of it. You gotta help us get out of here. Couldn't it just up and left on your own? Well, we kinda left our iron in the squad car. Get that leg back up there. Yeah, this keeps getting better. Where is it? In the garage. To the garage it's we go. It's official, V. Finally made it to the major leagues. League of first class leadheads, to be precise. Nice of you to join us, Johnny. Oh, Always value your show me if she finds out what we did. I'm a dead man walking. You know what you could use? What? A nice big pair of balls. Oh, cuz you're such a tough guy? Not like you stutter in front of the cap every fucking time. I don't fucking stutter. Let us through here before. What was the code again? 2893? It was 2983. Idiot, it was 2893. Oh my god, these don't guys. Punch it. Go on. Didn't work. <laughs> ah! 2983, I fucking told you. Dodger school. Careful! Dodgers, <laughs> go! Oh my god, these guys. Ugh. These are some pretty great A idiots, I gotta admit. Someone's nearby. I think I was supposed to kill them. Hey, no killing, all right? Yeah. Enough problems as it is. Hold on a minute. Uh, who are these goobers? Uh, crooked cops who really fucked up trying to, like, get a bounty and a drug deal. Somebody mentioned that it feel, feels pretty Tarantino esque, and yeah, I kind of have to agree with that. The, like, adult situation blended with, uh, sort of whimsical comedy. Got to out here somewhere. I've been watching a couple of movies from the mid-90s that are very clearly post, uh, Pulp Fiction. And they learn all the wrong lessons from that. Pulp Fiction did it really well. But other... Someone's nearby. There's so many other movies that just tried to be, like, whimsical with morally compromising situations and thought that was that was it that was the magic formula and those films are pretty cringeworthy i'm largely thinking about striptease when i'm saying this but there were a couple of other ones um be cool is i think one of those be cool is just a tragic film all around get shorty was pretty good again come on guys hey this wasn't us i did finally watch partners Switch around here somewhere. Captain, I don't know if you're around. Dodger will drown us in Eddie. 
Yeah, Be Cool is real bad. If you want to see the, the movie industry suck itself off, watch Be Cool. Bill, the plan is foolproof, Bill. Trust me, I know what I'm saying, Bill. <sighs> Shut up, Bill. So what if it's fucking Pacifica? What, too pussy to set foot there, Bill? Afraid of earning some serious scratch? Says the asshole who couldn't keep a bag in his fucking pocket. Yeah, you actually need good writing, Zumbini. It is fun to see all the bad versions of a popular thing after that thing. Hmm. All right. Got a complicated environmental puzzle here. <sighs> I have to match wits with the developer. Gotcha. Once Upon a Time is one of the few movies I like about Hollywood sucking itself off. Yeah, Once Upon is a bit different though. That's like, that's not fellatio. That's not executive fellatio. That's Tarantino fellatio. That's like... He's such a dork for 70s cinema that he made fan fiction about it. That's what Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is. And it's good. It's really good. It's not nearly as, like, creepily self-insertion-y as, like, almost famous. Cool trailer is something else alone. Get past him. Oh shit. I just had some like tremors go to the tips of my toes a little bit. My chest feels tight. Are you crazy? I'm not opening this door until someone turns that bomb off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wouldn't come out of the restroom until the be cool trailer is over either, Barney. Oh shit. Thank you for the cheer, Bongo. Ugh, that sucked, man. That sucked. I sat through that movie. Ugh. What are you there? What the heck? Ugh. I, about halfway through the movie, I started imagining, like, premiere night for that film. And all of the smarmy, shitty... Uh, executives in the room that either unironically liked it or thought it was good or like knew they had to pretend that it was good uh uh yeah I have like a bad taste in my mouth now <laughs> producers love movies about producers yeah about how the, the coolest take no shit make the world one kind of people so my mouth is still asleep from watching the be cool trailer it's like i've been anesthetized at the dentist ah sneaky lumpy yeah babylon is very pretentious but at least babylon kind of knows it's pretentious it is way too long though but it, it is also from and celebrating an era of film where there wasn't really a structure. It was just kind of a lot of stuff and then it ended. So, but yeah, very uh, masturbatory of like 
old Hollywood. I think they they did a small amount of like they they definitely represented its negatives as quirks. Dynamic burrito, thank you for the sub. And yeah, sneaky. I like through here. It was fun seeing Tobey Maguire in that role. I feel like he could have been a creepier little guy, though. He was a pretty good creepy guy. I wanted more tittering from him. Like, <laughs> he did that a fair amount. But I wanted more. It's like all... He's just here? Would you look at that? A welcoming party. How thoughtful. Oh my god, he's cool. Greetings, fellas. Oh, am I early? We... Uh, we can explain. Quiet. You I don't know. Care to introduce yourself? Got hired by these two to help. Oh, they look like they could use a hand, all right. One thing I can't put my finger on, though. What's that you got on your faces? A little ketchup? Run out of napkins? Uh... Yeah, well... Uh, no, not us. Per se. You any better at speaking full sentence? Um... Uh, there was a shootout. A, a, a guy got hit. It was, it was bleeding out fast. After that, brought your stuff here. Uh, left it all upstairs, so... It's all good. Another smooth talker. All right. Third time's a charm. Is he spinning yarns? Shh. Fuck it. It's all true. Happened exactly as Bill said. That's unfortunate. See, I really don't like being made a fool of. Boys. Oh, you're fuck oh. now! Everything's going to shit! I didn't want to kill him. Ugh. Oop. Yeah, I wonder if there's a way to get... I want Dodger to survive, because he's awesome looking. I like Dodger already. I'm Team Dodger. But at the same time, I have a professional obligation to try to right through here. keep these nerds alive. You do have them, don't you? <laughs> yeah, we got some goober ass cops on our hands here. Name's V. Got no clue what I'm doing here. Hmm. Honest. I like that. Okay. One thing I can't put my finger on, though. What's that you got on your faces? A little ketchup? Non-lethal melee? Does that... Uh, does that work like that? Are there any situ... Well, yeah, I guess. Are there any situations where you can get into combat with an NPC, not kill them, end combat, and then later interact with that NPC? It feels like NPCs are pretty much written off the story, or... There's not any interactable bits left with them after you could potentially kill them. But does that happen? Maybe that happens. It's possible they all survive? What? What? All right, hold on. I have a... Yeah, well, uh, no, not us, per se. You any better at speaking full sentence? Um, enough. Bang. You need me to answer that. You're right. I don't. Charlie and Bill, just tell them what happened. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, we caught the gawk who clipped your seven ounces, brought him back here. Problem is, he, uh, he ate the product. He ate the swallowed whole. Seven ounces in front of you? Uh, it was so quick we didn't have time to react. We, we tried taking it out, but, but you did what? Oh, you're going to start your 2.0 playthrough? Pee pee? Pee pee poo poo? Um, hey, don't look at me. I wasn't there. Do you know what build you're going to go for? I wish I was. 
So spill what happened. And don't skimp on the gory deeds. Uh, we... we... we tried taking the stuff out? F from him? Like, from the inside? Inside? I don't even... So all this blood... Wanted to get it back for you, but it all kind of, um, dissolved in him. You believe this shit? Savages, boss. Okay. And how do you factor into this freak show? Hey, look, I'm just as stupefied as you are. Two gonks over here called me to pull him out of this clusterfuck. Let me get this straight now. You two fools. Let this scares back old Dion on your watch. Then slice him open after the Queso Blancos are already dissolved. As if that's not enough, you hire a merc, cause you're scared you get two to the back of your skulls. Out <laughs> sums it up. <laughs> oh, you can't make this shit up. Fucking badges, man. Protect and serve my ass. <laughs> That's why they call you NC's Five. I like how he even has a goon to laugh with him. Fuck ups, am I right? Ah, oh, wait till the boys hear this. <laughs> Should have caught them on camera, boss. Yeah, good dunk. So, we good? Sure. For now. Besides, I'd give a measly seven ounces for a story like that any day. You're free to go, officers. Ought to check on the boys upstairs, boss. Touche. Oh, yeah. Bear with us, man, say. Oh, yeah. Check this is where they would get you for killing people? Wow, they are all dead. Vitals are green. They're breathing. Ah, That's cool. Get them out of here. That was like the perfect way to do that, to warn somebody like, hey, killing matters. And then at the end, make it clear that there was a check of whether or not you did it. I changed my mind, but don't think you heard the last of me, fellas. Bill, Charlie, get in the car in Delta. Move. We're going. We're going. Th thanks, V. His introduction was too cool for him to die. I think that was something that... I know that I was kind of hoping for in 2077 is for there to be some kind of consequence to doing lethal or non-lethal stuff. There were like minute story, like some dialogue would shift, but that was about it. V, so tell me. Man, it's Blade Runner out here. Poison blood this time. Oh lord. I swear to Christ, if someone asks me one more time. Prickly today, are we? I'll make do without details. If the client is happy, then so am I. Contract closed. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's uh, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff cues around killing woodmen. I noticed. You can intimidate other people by claiming to be the one who killed them. Okay. Dogtown Saints. I do like how they bounce on their suspension. It's very cute. I wish there was a way to progress in this game pretty 
pretty reliably by doing recurring driving tasks. Because it would be nice to just use a controller or even like a uh, like a wheel and just drive around Night City, doing driving challenges or just like yeah, doing taxing taxi missions of the game. Sounds like Idris. down here. Never seen either Blade Runner? Hmm. They're vibe movies. You want to be in a certain kind of mood. They're both pretty slow, slow simmer films, but... Yeah, Roblem. I love the driving missions. I'm, I really, really enjoy those. I kind of do those whenever they pop up. The dress? I'm afraid of them. I'm afraid Still of doing dry. all of them. Stitches on in place? <sighs> Dude, it hurts like hell. I can barely stand. Hmm. I can't up your morphine. Won't be enough for the others. <sighs> we'll all rot without Anderson anyway. I haven't started playing, uh... Payday 3 yet. Still, still having server issues? Odell Blanco? Name's V. Fixer said you need a hand. <laughs> More like a miracle. If the scavs don't scatter soon, our patients will start dropping in the street. Whoa. Huh. I can be smart enough to just do it. I could be a doctor. Oh, the driving missions are endless? I'll wait. That's very exciting, if so. Thought Hanson's goons kept the Dogtown gangs at bay. Scavs must have struck a deal with Bennett. You know, Hanson's lieutenant here in the MDO. What, a bar guest salary don't cover the bills? As the good book says, a bribe blinds the eyes of the wise. Bennett's not even that. This place used to be a church. Yes, mine. But these days, few seek absolution, while many more need transfusions or fresh implants. At least you're still helping them. True. But <laughs> where's a priest to confess? So what, you're Anderson's right hand? Not a physician, if that's what you mean. I provide spiritual comfort. How's that going for you? The patients, they're afraid. If something happens to Anderson, they'll have nowhere to go. Who is Anderson? What do the scavs want from the head doc? Oh. Well, there's this girl with them, Nika Yankovic. Said she's looking for her brother. What, he a patient of yours? Look, that's all I know. She wanted to talk to Anthony and seemed really upset if this is about eddie's or chrome the scavs would have just taken him sure but we don't have either wait how's this place even running generous donors the scavs still let you look after the patients in a sense then nico ordered them to take us all outside nobody's allowed in said it was between her and anthony she doesn't want anyone killed hmm <laughs> Or anyone talking later. Anderson locked himself in his office? Yes. It's the only spot with any security. Find the office. Yeah, that's pretty. Hold on. Doctor, hang a right. Stairs will take you to the basement. If the scavs hurt Anthony, well. And all these people are out of luck. Cut the doom and gloom, okay? Not helping. <laughs> Problem. Thank you for gifting a sub. Appreciate it. You want to make it here? Listen up. One move. Oh.
Kate Winslet reveals how Idris Elba's foot fetish affected their love scene. Yeah? Well. Hmm. Idris asked me to keep my socks on. I thought he didn't like feet, but it is the opposite. Idris loves feet. I've just got a bit of a thing, Elba bashfully replied. Well, I've got a fucking fetish for feet. I spilled the beans. I know how it developed and when, and I've never articulated it, and it just seeped into that script. I see. I see. Sometimes it just seeps in. Spilled his beans. His stinky beans. Well, there you go. There you have it. Yeah, this game's really pretty. Well, it's good to know- it's good to know his appetites. <laughs> Just take another photo. He might let the animal loose if he sees those, uh... Those little piggies strolling all around on the carpet, unrestrained. What? From Global or Orbital Station to Night City, private press is set to perform at Club Riot. Uh, didn't they send that to me before? No, maybe not. I want to buy tickets! I want to go to this galaxy rave.
Combat's pretty fun. What was this? Ooh. Max Doc Mark Five. Hundred and sixteen health per puff. Yum yum. Oh, hold on. Neuroscience behind foot fetish. Back when men were men. <laughs> Is it like some kind of hunter-gatherer thing? Dude, it's Bert! Thank you very much for gifting two subs. The science says that feet are hot, and it's totally normal to like, like to see chili and beans poured on them. It's just science, okay? Warsaw Catholics. Candles! Thank you for the two subs. I'm handing out snipers left and right here. Hmm. Oh, they were trying to, like, reach out to scavs, basically? It is always fun to uh, play with those those stories in post-apocalypses when there's like a group of people that are essentially savages, but actual Christianity compels you to have empathy and provide uh, relief. Problem. Thanks for gifting a sub. Appreciate that. Hmm. Mr. Anderson has not been cleared of the charges placed on him by his former workplace. Providing support to your clinic could be taken as our de facto approval of Mr. Anderson and his actions. Interesting. I wonder how uh, Dr. Anderson is going to feel about me murdering everyone. You hide like baby. Whoa. Hey, you dirty rat, I can smell you. Is she about to turn around? Yeah. What? Ah, he's telling his friend about how happy. How he, like, had the operation? I don't know. I might feel bad. This might make me feel bad. I bet it's unlikely, though. I mean, I just leveled up. How bad could I feel? Ooh. Whoa, that's like a Deus Ex jacket. Hold on.
Oh. You're you're giving away your uh sniper redemption. That's quite nice. Don't remember your good old games code. Oh, you or your good old games joke. login. Uh oh. What? Stay back! Where's Gaspar? Tell me! Chill. Gun down. Let's talk. Here for Anderson. Need him out of here. Alive. And I'm here for my brother. Couldn't give a fuck about this quack. You! Off your ass! Where's Gaspar? Tell her what you know. Nobody gets hurt. I'm sorry, do you work for me or the scabs? Talk for fuck's sake! Ugh, the fuck! You, Merc! Help me! Oh wait, maybe this is one of those situations. Say neutralize. Finally, you couldn't have done. Okay. Because it was her brother that he was operating on. Which hand holds the scalpel? The other one. At least we dodged that bullet. You know, could have handled this gig yourself. Just had to tell the truth. The truth? The truth is her brother was a junkie with a prognosis of hopeless to death. But no, she wasn't interested in that truth. The patients, what's their status? With Odell out in the street waiting. Tell him it's all clear. It's time we got back to work. Hmm. Take that, take that off your hands. Is it open? Okay. Organ harvesting drug addicts? I don't I didn't really get any sense of that. The medical aspect seems pretty above board. I don't know that oh, very bright in here. Maybe there's a twist. Mark five. All right. That ought to that ought to be it then. Mr. Hands ought to be giving me a ring any minute now. Yeah, Rogue Chef, this game is real pretty. Netwatch is on the prowl, sniffing around here lately. I'm certain I have no idea what you're talking about. Unfortunately, this thing I know nothing about is a problem for the VDVs. So much so, district power consumption has dropped by half. Voodoo's troubles keeping you up at night? Mr. Hands the altruist. No. Disruptions to the status quo keep me up at night. My concern grows when the seeds of chaos are sown. It's bad for business. When can we meet? You know, face to face. 
perhaps never, perhaps tomorrow, when it proves absolutely necessary, not before. Not looking for new tombs, are you? V, I offer you what no tomb can. Honesty. Consistent, reliable honesty. Okay, gotta go. Likewise, time is Eddie's. Uh, X Nick 5609. Thank you very much for the sub. There's our guy. Premium work, V. I offered to send a hand to remove all those scavenger remains, but Anderson declined. Something about taking a look at them first. Interesting. I can only assume he's in shock. Hmm. The funds are being transferred as we speak. Hmm. Hey, oh, hang on a sec, Hans. Remember our deal? Yes, the Black Sapphire. I have an entry strategy for you. Foolproof. Beat me at the heavy hearts. Okay, be there soon. Yeah, Godberry. Eddies are short for Euro dollars, I think. Euro dollar was like the 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 default cash, so E is how they got shortened. And then, and then people just call them Eddies. Okay, cool. I'm right there. But there's a car delivery mission. Oh yes. I'm gonna do that after I deliver some piss to my toilet. Be right back. Oh. There was some some Dan Harmon, Justin Roiland fallout. Car. Oh, right. I feel like driving in sheer class, so I'm going to uh, use my controller for this car mission. I'm gonna drop the armrests. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to remember. Deep. There we go. For maximum driving enjoyment. Oh baby. Rain dirty in ha huh? great. Now grab the delivery cords and drive. Which one this is gonna be? I guess they just have some, um, they hit you with some restriction while you're trying to deliver it. Oh! Well, those physics are still uh, charismatic. Okay. Minute 55, no problem. That's two 60 seconds I can be gone in. being a little bit wacky. What the fuck? Oh. 
the hell is that? Somebody just didn't like the way I looked. Wait a minute. Did it go around? Down there. Whoops. Check the drop point, your reward. Just don't spend it all on XPDs and glitter. Man, I did not think that was gonna work. Yeah. One second. The ring just stop? What the fuck? I guess the I guess the rain passed or something. Twenty percent stun chance, jeez. Ah. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I can use Sandeviston while I'm driving now. I gotta do that more. Okay, cool. That was fun. I wanted to get some some driving in. Quality c controller driving. That's the an angry one. Oh, there he is. The curve in their beaks. It hides something. Something insidious. You mean flamingos? So they are real. Flamingo. Flaming. Oh, the O. That's oxygen. There's no flame without. Who is you? Call me Clarice. Okay, Clarice. The flamingos are a problem, I'm sure. But it's time to go home. Delamain's asking for you. Back down now as they stand screaming. No, impossible. Leave it to me. I'll silence them. So, a slaughter. Very well, Judgment Day has come. Swift, severe, deeper. What does that mean? Do I have to like damage it? I mean Clarice is is the name from Silence of the Lambs, but it doesn't feel like anything else is, is Silence of the Lambs. We didn't really talk about flamingos in Silence of the Lambs. <sighs> yeah, I need to set it as the active mission. They'll tell me what to do. Gotta remember how to do that. The flamingos screeching. The silence of the flamingos. I guess it's not really, not really gonna be there. There we go. Oh, right. That's what they want me to do. Okay. But I have to stay in, in range, right? Thank <laughs> you. 
Sorry about that. Sorry. All right. Oh, there they are. Okay. Clarice, have the flamingos stopped screaming? Perhaps I ought to return after all. I need support. Okay. The only one with chaos with I see the reference now. To a dancing star. Clarice? I guess. Shut down. Just re-established contact with the missing vehicle. Splendid work, V. First class. I shall forward a share of your fee. That's nice. Okay, here. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's time to smooch Idris. So wait a minute. What do you think? Do you think if, uh, wait, screenshot of the texture? What? Did you run into a bug here? Oh my gosh. Am I supposed to enter a building during the day? I was able to and it's eerie. It's a dance hall pumped with the music, but no people. It's an option to dance on the floor, but no music. When the door opens, it shows a one-way texture that says, sorry, we're closed, that you can walk right through. Was 2.0 the final update, or they, do they plan on fixing the game? I mean, there's always going to be, there's always going to be something broken. That's pretty, that's pretty weird. There's no such thing as a bug-free game. But yeah, they're probably going to continue to update it. That does sound eerie. They left a door unlocked. I do like that texture, though. Oops! No. Man, it's so hard to tell where to exit. That's actually eerily common with uh, California highways. Sometimes there's like five different off-ramps and it can be really hard to tell which one is which. That's actually a pretty big source of traffic. I mean, there's just the volume, but also it seems like even locals struggle sometimes with the uh, exit ramp situation. A lot of jumping across five lanes of traffic swerving into the shoulder kind of shit. Exactly, verbose toast. There's got to be, like, traffic blocker events like that. If they happen, like, every five minutes or so, it starts... I feel like it sends out these ripples. And then you get traffic. I guess it's, it just makes everybody go really slow. Which I guess is probably the safer thing. Whoa! Driving a bike through LA traffic is kind of a it's kind of a melee. People are getting bolder on highways. Straight up driving in the shoulder for miles and miles kind of stuff. Straight up running red lights. Definitely getting a little more lawless out there on the LA streets. It's kind of like all of LA is turning into Manhattan. It's not quite that bad. It's not just bumper to bumper all the time. But definitely in the like if a car can go there, there's no reason it shouldn't go there kind of situation. <clears throat> I drive for a living. Florida drivers are the worst. Yeah? Why is that? 
What I have to admit, um, I'm kind of impressed with LA drivers because as bananas as they are, I mean, there's, there's like stories of pretty bad wrecks daily, but in a city this size, this chaotic, it's just, I guess everybody kind of accepts it. But still, the fact that the roads flow like they do, uh, people, people are pretty good drivers here for the shit they pull off and the relative lack of bodies, I suppose. That's just kind of impressive. And the amount of cars just like on, on in street parking, just inches from each other. And people can like park and get their shit done and things keep flowing. Twice in one week, I was sitting in lane, waiting to turn left and when the light turned green, the person in the back gunned it and cut the entire line. Wow. That's some pretty gnarly stuff. Just like gunned it around everyone. No time to wait. It's real libertarian driving. United States doesn't have a theory test before you can finish your practical driving test? Like, you guys don't just study hypothetical events and then do a test on them? Wait. There's there's like a written test and a performance test. There's both. So you have to take a test where you like answer questions about driving and legality and what to do and all that sort of thing. And then you have to drive in a car with an instructor who will evaluate your driving ability. Now, I haven't, I haven't had to, like, you can just pr pretty much renew without having to take the test again, though. So as long as you pass it once, you're pretty much grandfathered in for life. I had to take it again when I moved to California. But even then, I don't think, I didn't have to do, like, an in-person test. I just took, like, a multiple choice test on a touchscreen and then got my photo taken and that was it. Uh, hard to mistake her for anyone else, don't you think? I'm telling you, she came to HH to party the other day. Right, and us cracks were in her posse too, huh? Or did you come down off glitter too quickly and didn't manage to catch him? Fuck you and your disbelief. Others seen her too, you know. Ass around. Yeah, yeah, and the NUS president just crashed in Dogtown. Quit repeating every dumb tale you hear on the street, man. Hey, you there. This is a nice place, so play nice, hear me? Got our eyes everywhere. You're really giving me a talking to, huh? Ooh. Man, hearing that music phasing, where it's like reflecting off the walls. Really cool audio effect. So gaudy. It does feel very Vegas. Where's the dance button? It's gotta be, there it is. Islamic just thinking about it kind of puts hair on my chest. Blue collar Florida listening to a lunch conversation. I'm sure it's just about football, right? And how to lend their neighbors a helping hand. Hieroglyphics, look at that.
Mr. H. Well, that's right. He's gonna, gonna crash this top secret party. <laughs> Damn it. Someone's having a giggle. Having a little chuckle there. Uh, and you are? I'm gonna buy you a burrito, buddy. Where are you going? Nice. Not very funny, I guess. I'll wash that down. With an energy drink. Yeah, it did kind of sound like Johnny, I guess. Alright, here we go. Ugh. I have social anxiety going to this party. That's why I have to pound an energy drink first. Hit my vape four times. Okay, now I'm ready. I see. Uh, and what is it your mother can't help you with? Not, not to worry. I'll find him the moment I get home. Can that be our deal? You my word, Sugar Bear. Yeah, I, I love you too. Uh, bye bye now. Ah, if it isn't the what? You can the, meet him. My favorite merc. Splendid. What you completed for me significantly shifted the playing field vis-a-vis -vis Hanson. There's like, there's no way. Previous Mr. Hands is this character. I can't imagine the like fast talking, hustling Jersey guy being this like opulent, crushed velvet coat wearing. Hedonistic motherfucker. Look at he probably smells like like sage holding a wood pipe and shit. Yeah. Previous Mr. Hands was like, hey, you're breaking my balls. Hey, hey. Capiche? Interesting. It's almost like they just like changed his character. Hmm. Excellent work. Precisely as requested. <laughs> Come on, hands. Flattery, really? Seems a little beneath you. An overused tactic. Agreed. Unnecessary. No, V, this is strictly business. For those who do their work well, praise is a mere restating of the facts. Ooh, now that's good flattery. Maybe the one thing I didn't expect to see the man behind the hollow curtain, the elusive Mr. Hands in the flesh. Not only did you rescue those clowns, yeah, you never had a beard. You also managed to reach an accord with Dodger. Your head in the game throughout. Well done. <laughs> you have proven to be a person I can trust. Hence my decision to drop the veil and meet in person. I wonder if you if you a screw up those missions, you don't I'm get sure this meeting. Were I to <gasps> have more virtuosos like you, I wager I'd have more than Dogtown in my Could be rest. another facade, sure. Dogtown, Pacific. The shoes. Line up the rest. Snort. Oh, those are slick. <laughs> Working with bona fide professionals, positively a treat. Hope all that hard work won't go to waste. Profit for me means profit for you. Nothing simpler. You may not know this, but I hasten to assure you no one has ever regretted doing business with me. <laughs> I know it may not seem all that clear from where you stand, but the gigs you have completed will allow me to audaciously shift some of the pawns and figures on the chessboard that is Dogtown. Checkmate is but a few moves away. Take it you prefer Dogtown with no Hansen at the helm. Hansen wields much power, greedily so. He's also clever. These traits I tolerate, even value, when occurring in isolation. But all at once, no. Especially not in one who grips an entire district in the palm of his hand. It makes business... trying. 
and arrest you in some tea. It's my own blend. Ugh. Surely Mr. Hands wouldn't oops. So, how did this combat zone become Dogtown? Do you know? Heard this and that. Something to do with the war? Okay, now I want this tea. 1969. Colonel Hansen led an operation colorfully called Midnight Storm. The objective? To occupy this combat zone and establish an NUSA staging ground in Night City. Soon after, the sides agreed to a ceasefire. Hansen's force was left to fend for itself. Headquarters, the public, everyone feigned ignorance, pretending Hansen and company were never here. But our good colonel decided to put down roots. He declared this combat zone an NUSA territory. In our terms, he carved out an enclave for himself and went from soldier to arms dealer overnight. Marooned he was. Two weeks for a bullet to reach his brain, everyone thought. But his brain remained intact, and he became a force to be reckoned with. A man whose existence is a threat to many is a dangerous man indeed. Hmm. Let's table politics for now, huh? Go straight to biz. Business? Hmm. Of course. The Black Sapphire. Hansen stronghold, guarded by elite soldiers. Military quarters are situated on lower levels, while top floors are a decadent haven for the ultra-rich. The building's blueprint was not easily procured, I should say. Hansen guards his hotel secrets as if they were an embarrassing rectal itch. But, given a will, a slurp and savor that usually mm. found. You help a client of mine, they reciprocate, and I gain latitude. Quid pro quo in full effect. The building plans are yours. I'll even throw in vulnerabilities to watch for, a token of my appreciation. And, though this goes without saying, the data, its source, are completely secure. No one knows you have it. Data leaks, or lack thereof, are the difference between myself and, say, the late Mr. Deshawn. The Shard, Black Sapphire Info and Blueprints, all nooks and crannies. I trust it's all you need to waltz in and perform your planned pirouettes. Yet a word of caution. Even fully prepared, you'll be marching into a pit full of vipers. Watch your step. Thanks, Hans. I only hope this won't mark the end of our collaboration. Truth be told, a few new assignments seem imminent. Let me guess, more local political gaming? Activity is abundant in Dogtown, and behind closed doors, plots and schemes. Should change ever occur, as it inevitably must, someone really ought to pave the way for a smooth transition. <laughs> Be looking forward to those new gigs, then. You will hear from me soon. This, I guarantee you. Yeah, what does Johnny think about all this? Whatever happens at the Black Sapphire, make sure you come back alive, hmm? You're going where local and international politics mix. Strong currents, both. Make sure to plant my feet firmly, then. Later, hands. Yeah, Rayum. You wonder if you'll ever pick up that storyline with the politician being spied on by the shadowy group? Talking about Mr. Blue Eyes? He's kind of this game's G-man. Apparently he shows up a couple more times, just kind of like way off. Yeah, I was curious if they were gonna gonna follow up on that. I guess uh, there's an ARG going on. That actually, there's been an ARG since Cyberpunk 2077. There's a subreddit kind of dedicated to following a breadcrumb trail of Easter eggs. And then, I don't know. I always assumed that they might be related, but maybe they're not. Oh, he's in one of the endings. 
36 eddies for an energy drink. Shit. It's gonna get ya. Ooh. A lot of hustle around. Got big guests in from the city. Mm-hmm. Almost every day. We get all kinds of traffic in here from peeps looking to settle their biz in peace and quiet. Not many sides us can offer that. Love to see what you got. All kinds of good stuff. Take a look. Hmm. Need to remember to check in with individual uh, merchants so that I can uh, buy the stamina ups. Getting like orange stuff now. I wonder if there's something that I need to do with that. What's the most efficient thing to do with random orange equipment you don't want? Or tier five? Maybe deconstruct? Maybe the crafting materials are. The crafting materials are the most worth it. They don't seem to be worth just go gobs of money. And I'm kind of past needing money. Actually, I really should look at cyberware. Now that I have cash, see if I can upgrade. Oh yeah, and I have that new Sandevston anyway. I never installed that. Need that coal. Reed, got the data shard from hands. Our gold ticket into the Black Sapphire. No, oh, yeah, that's gonna happen. Perfect. Same to exactly when I got in a car too. This connection is secure. Catch. It's on its way. And reception complete. I'll pass it on to Alex. And as soon as you're ready, join us at the moth. If I'm not there when you arrive, just wait. Until then. Oh, there's a ripper duck right there. Beauty. I guess there's one right there. No, it's fine. camera modes yes oh yeah, it looks like there's ch chase cameras of three different uh if you're hearing this distances you the right place ncpd gang wars not in dog town taxes who the fuck needs them in dog town i keep your business safe as long as you abide by my rules sound fair to you i thought so good Speaking of checking out vendors, there's this Vargas Oh, you again? Why? I thought we had a nice conversation. I guess I already bought this. Don't quit on the Damn, okay. At least a man has a good job. I have one job today. The fuck, Chum? Ah. Still got two more bottles left. Just landed. Eh, bones shot through my knees. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Standing there. Ah! Did you agree? Uh. What was made my nose tickle. Luckily, my BF is in the junk business. I hope you'll move it for me. I don't think he has anything. He's got everything I sold him, I think. Yeah, Minecraft ankle break. Generators! Get 
your fresh club shards here. Sup, compadre? Love what you've done with the place. How's a ripper end up at the stacks anyway? Oh, the, the city's so stifling, Chum. I wanted to go someplace where there's no formalities, no limits, where I could just be myself. You know what I mean? Uh huh. You got your ripper license revoked, didn't you? Uh, the fuck do you care? You want a rip or not? Let it rip. Okay. Let's see what you can do for me. Just hope I won't regret it. Anything hitches, just come back. At least you won't get bored. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, that's the midair one. Okay. I'll just buy it. I'll probably upgrade some of this stuff. Damn, optical zoom. Ooh. Yeah, I feel like this is the one I want. Okay. Revamping a little bit. This I don't really need to upgrade, I don't think. Does it make it target lock duration for damage? Okay, so that's what it does. What's the uh, BSR on the right? This one? Capacity. So, you uh, like each implant is worth a certain body point or whatever. And that's a capacity of like how much you can have installed. But you can uh, you can boost that with perks and stuff. So it's it kind of leans in, leans into a build pretty pretty neatly, I'd say. Right now, I'm just installing better versions of a lot of the stuff I already have installed. Oh, is it just more explosion resistance? Oh, plus crit chance and regen. Oh, that's that's pretty good. All right, you got me. You got me. Some of this stuff I can probably upgrade. Okay, I guess that's cheaper. The one on the right is armor. It's kind of... I don't know why it has a max. That's a bit odd. Thank <laughs> you. 
Maybe that's the soft cap. Yeah, maybe? It seems odd to have an arbitrary restriction on armor. Let's see, I don't really see why they would do that, but maybe they did. Let's see here. Ram. Karaznikov. Quick Hex. Quick Hex. Ram. Cyberware. Hmm. I guess it would be cool to have a... It would be cool to have something like that, where I could actually like reduce the cooldown of uh, San Deviston. Hey, Nero! Thanks for gifting two subs there. Enjoy your sniper rifle. Huh. What is detection of you outside of combat? Huh. You go faster the closer they are to seeing you? Huh, maybe I could get this too. Maybe I should get this too. You aim a ranged attack during a slide, dodge, or dash. Oh boy, that's a lot of time, but yes, I should do it. I didn't think about getting both, that's awesome. Blind as Guardian. Who do you think had a better comeback in gaming? No Man's Sky or Cyberpunk or a different game I'm not thinking about. Uh I mean I guess I guess uh people have yet to write the end of Cyberpunk's story in terms of perception. So I don't know. We'll see, I suppose. I mean I feel like in terms of scale Cyberpunk is quite a bit larger. I don't I don't know if No Man's Sky is sold like 20 million or whatever. I think I think the cyberpunk thing probably reached tiers of awareness in culture that No Man's Sky never did. Pizzazz Frost. Hey, thank you very much for gifting five subs. I really appreciate that. Thank you for your generosity. Okay, I'm gonna have to dash more now. Thank you very much, Pizzazz. Have you played Monster Hunter World? Yes! I quite enjoyed it. I didn't finish, uh, I kind of played through all of World. Um, didn't finish Day Daybreak, Fire Rise. Rise? It was just Rise, I think? The expansion? Ice Break? No, that was the last one. Ah! Shit! Hey, what's wrong? Come on. Iceborne it's for fine. World, that's right. I'm alright. And then the Switch one got an expansion that was also really good. Ooh. Sunbreak. That's what I was thinking of. Thank you. Sit down. How can I help? Really? Starting to get used to it. This the relic? Gets worse every day. 
Time I have left is evaporating quick. Guess you'll just have to take a seat and throw your throw your feet up on the table Experience here. Experience them often. These attacks. Don't really keep count, but never know if the next one won't be my last. I'm dying, Idris. I need to see your feet. Wow, rough. <laughs> no shit. Dead's breathing down my neck, always. Somebody's pounding on a door outside. Keep hearing it. I know what that feels like. Yeah? What do you mean? I never talked about this, you know. I should be saying they tried to kill me. But sometimes it feels like they actually succeeded. So I'm talking to a ghost. Ambush. Attempt on my life seven years back. Yeah, you said. What exactly happened there, Reed? I landed in the ICU, where I waited for some Arasaka goon to come finish me off. I was betrayed by our people, the FIA. I say betrayed, but I was sold out. Part of a deal, a peace offering, my head on a silver platter, all for a ceasefire. Peace comes at a price. Someone's always got to pay it. Come on, I'm gonna show you something. Hang on. They set you up, yet here you are working for them again. Even deep wounds stop hurting eventually, scar over. A few years on, they're just a niche. Let's go. So hard boiled. Let's ride down. Where are we headed? On a little trip down memory lane to see some old junk. Yeah. Gonna see his old Pokemon cards. I still can't believe Alex decided the best place for a bar was right over our old safe house. Hold on a second. In the technical tree, there's a skill called Chipware Connoisseur that lets you pick the bonus perk when upgrading. So, get that before upgrading your stuff. It's a low-level skill, too. Oh, no! Uh, I was looking for some kind of, like, crafting skill. I guess I didn't properly comb the tree, per uh, but... Ah, yeah, there it is. Okay. That's what that means. Okay. I'll start working towards that. Oh man. Yeah, I, I should have had this a while ago. Oh well. Uh, uh. Hey! I have an anonymous benefactor. Thank you very much, anonymous gifter, for gifting five subs. Hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. Okay, so I guess I'll have to try to... That, that that actually could provide a path to kind of end-game crafting, where you kind of start with a low-level thing and then level it up. Probably pretty resource-intensive, but that way you can customize the... Uh, the twisted sense of humor. Or, or craft the at? buffs that it has. Wait downstairs. She's finishing up recon in town. We should make ourselves at home until she gets back. Mark, 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 hold on. Been dark for seven years, this place. Oh, I'm gonna miss it. Let's Hold on. Things up Dang here. it. Bark. 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 Love you, Riley. Death accelerated. Thank you very much for the sub. Is there a new character for this playthrough? The end of any war is never pretty. I mean, like Both a new, a new V? I did roll a new character for this, yeah. A car bomb blew up one of my crew. Another was poisoned. Oh. A third got shot in the back of the head while buying a pack of smokes. Oh. A couple of us just vanished without a trace. 
Nomad the Kid. Every night we waited for our soccer agents. Saying what everybody to wants to. I had to make a Speaking choice. everyone's mind here, saying Idris show feet. I chose to dig out heels in. He's going to. He's got to. He's talking about heels. Who is banging on the door? I thought we still had a fighting chance. He's showing me his secret spy it layer. It was bold. It was stupid. It makes both. Maybe I just didn't know how to walk away. Let it rest. Or maybe I don't know how to lose. I'm too good at my job. Either way. We managed to save a few more agents. The price for that was yours truly. Say what you want, but sounds like they stabbed you in the back, plain and simple. Saving many of my people in the process. You play grown-up games, you face grown-up consequences. Funny. Not of everyone. It was Songbird they asked to pull the trigger. Wait. Yeah. Now we know. That's pretty straightforward, I guess. Pulled the trigger as in literally took out her iron and shot you. Not personally, but she unlocked the door for those who came and did. I was leaving the city, heading home. Songbird was still here. So me has a medical situation. See so your song so me's overall well-being is at risk. The agent's micro expressions reveal moments of panic which currently do not affect her ability to hold a conversation, nor do they hinder her ability to carry out her duties. It has been ruled out that these fleeting moments of panic are the result of avoidant personality disorder. My working theory is that given the colossal amount of cognitive processes the agent is constantly subject to, she had to develop a strategy to mitigate the inevitable cognitive overloads. This leads to the agent cutting all processes at once, temporarily leaving her in a void, thoughtless. After an average onlooker, an average onlooker would be oblivious to these moments. What is most concerning is the visible increment in the duration of the aforementioned episodes of panic paired with the subtle personality shifts. A report detailing the personality shift will be sent out within a week. On their own, these could be attributed to the simple fact of growing older. Yet, in my opinion, they warrant undertaking a more thorough diagnosis of the agent in a laboratory setting. Conclusion! I believe that in Song So Mi's case, we can ill afford to deviate from the mandatory protocols. At this stage, my professional opinion is as follows. Agent Song So Mi requires care as well as additional extensive research into her ailment. I recommend she be suspended from service effective immediately and to send her to one of our research facilities where we will be able to conduct an official diagnostic process. Only then will we be able to issue an official medical opinion and recommendation for future treatments. To reiterate, I fully believe handling Song So Mi's case according to official protocol is the best way forward. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. It's very room, in fact. Hmm. It was guiding me on comms. Led me straight into a trap. Neutralizing me. The last assignment in Night City. Then she got a ticket home. Oh, I didn't know V's actor is Irish. That's awesome. Reed, what are you doing now? This saving her, or is it revenge? I don't have a vengeful bone left in me. I had plenty of time to examine this under a microscope. Under focus, some things sharpen, others blur. But there comes a point when you just cut through the bullshit and see what's in front of you. Death by keys, thanks for the five subs. Look at him working the scene, stomping around. Exploring the space. And nothing can change that. Fuck, Reed. Now, my is, is a whole nother story. But Songbird, no. I got nothing against her. So why Myers? I miss anything? Huh. Some reminiscing. So good. Let's get this show going. I checked up on Slider's contention. Looking how to write, it turns out. 
I dove into old mission files wherever Somi was involved. They were buried deep, near impossible to access, even with my clearance. Each and every one, the Blackwall. All authorizations, mission orders, personally signed by one person. Rosalind Myers. Yeah, I, I feel like, uh, don't tell me. I feel like the twist is going to be that Somi's not real. She's an AI. And she's, like, found ways to cover her tracks and everything. And that's why she's connected to the Black Wall. Uh, if you're playing the game while the drop is active, do you get the drop yourself automatically? Or do you need to watch and gift sub on another channel, too? Uh, you can watch your own channel. That counts. Um, as long as it's, like, playing and you're on the player page. Uh, but yeah, you also can watch... I gifted two subs in Bruce's chat to get a sniper. But, uh, that's, that's... That's my theory. So yeah, yeah, actually. Actually, I think if I play my own in the background, even from the, the background, I think it works, but. I was gonna check something and now I've forgotten what it was. What do you think it was? Well, I know, I'm gonna turn my light down. Put it to evening mode. Oh, I guess, I guess they announced the Meta Quest 3. All right. Wouldn't wanna be in her shoes if that shit floats to the top. The NUS is a small country governed by a woman with highly ambitious goals. Sometimes those ambitions went out of reason. But that's not something we need to pour over now. Alex, what do you have for us? Oh, a little of this, a little of that. We'll plan in a sec. Say, V. Like playing fancy dress up? Of course. Who doesn't? Mm, then you'll like what I whipped up. Managed to learn that some pop megastar is gonna grace the party with a show. Guest list? Expect everybody who's anybody. That includes you. Gonna don fancy outfits and rub shoulders with VIPs. Be warned though, fancy doesn't mean easy. Ready for the deets, V? Let me hear him. Black Sapphire, the most heavily guarded place in Dodge. Hmm. Oh. Uh. Pee pee poo poo monster. I'm glad you liked the episode of Inside Games. Yeah, I gotta check in on that. Make sure that nothing nothing weird's happening. That's doing all right. It's about what I expected. Cool. Everyone seems pretty chill. It's on your watch list for tonight. Excellent. Town. Doesn't mean Good. security's airtight though. Good. V, you're gonna enter through a flooded. Yeah, it's a really system. interesting Got topic. Top of the line diving suit ought to fit you snug as a glove. Water's maybe a little super toxic, so yeah, be careful. Toxic? How exactly? From suspect waste, some sewage leak too. Don't worry, suit's piss and shit proof. <laughs> Already know what the hotel looks we'll like. We'll see about really, that. Really hard to miss. Flooded tunnels here. That's your way inside. Now focus. You'll reach a terminal at the end. Jack in and breach the camp, giving Reed his window to slip into the building. You'll take different elevators up here. This is awesome. Saul will open a passage to his side. For you ask, yeah, it's the only way. Area could be heavily guarded, so you'll have to be on your tippy toes. Couldn't get clean intel, so you'll just have to be creative. Improvise. Steve, thanks for the raid. We're gonna meet here. Hello, everyone. As soon as you meet up, you'll doll up like it's prom night and go to the ball. That's where you'll rendezvous with Songbird. All clear? Oh, do I gotta say something? Yup. <laughs> Prime. Okay. Could pop Let's on that one. Here. Take your time. Grab anything you think might be useful. A surprise awaits you in the box. Ooh. Fancy. Is this your iron? Sure is. Her Majesty's been itching to return to active duty. It'd be an honor. That reminds me. Heads, what did he want in return for the favor he did us? 
Wanted to test the waters, see which way the currents are flowing. Hansen's dominance over Dogtown doesn't benefit Hans' know-how, so he's had to level the playing field. Politics. <laughs> it's the same shit wherever you go. You know, if not for you, we'd have no way of getting into the Black Sapphire reaching Sunburn. It's good to have you on our side. Let me nephew. That it? We sit? <laughs> I believe we are. I'll hang back a while and then meet you there. Damn. There's some good good guns here. Wait, minus seven point five damage in combat? I want to see what this one looks like. Place stinks of memories, huh? A little dusty, but well preserved. What are we gonna do with it once I'm on the Riviera? Gonna lock yourself in here, fondle all this old dead. Oh, that's great. The quest the name? What we'll do. And the best back. Bond theme. Now that I like. Rest in peace, Chris Cornell. Ugh. So is this, is that a throwable knife? How were the feet? Uh, frustratingly covered. Hold on, maybe I can, maybe I can uh, smooth talk him a little bit. No? Nothing? Okay. in that. Okay, well, I guess we'll just do it. Let's get right to it. Let's go to the bond party. This guy, man. Hey there. Oh, give it a rest, buddy. Holy cow. Nobody's answering, okay? There's a job, V. A journalist. Bree Whitney has fled into Dogtown. Oh. I need you to look after her. This call's just open now. Weird. She fled? Means I gotta keep her tucked away? No. Bree has a lead. You're to help her complete her investigation. There's a corp on her tail, as she put it. That is all she said. Miss Whitney seems to have some minor trust issues. Right. So where am I meeting this mystery insistent woman? You'll go to her apartment first, on Skyline West. You're to collect an electronic access card. And no, do not say, this card, what's it open? I simply don't know. Contact me once this is sorted. You'll learn more details then. Huh. 
I do I do miss the old Mr. Hands. But the new one's growing on me. All right, all right. Let's um I guess we can just go right to the next mission. I'm just kind of surprised that there's no acknowledgement or, like, attempt to ride around it. Huh. First ever kill. Reed told me then, don't see him as a person, but as an obstacle that must over be overcome. Whoa. Now, Water, you only got an hour of work left? Very nice, thank you. By the way, anonymous gifter. Appreciate you gifting five anonymous subs anonymously. But, Otter, I'm glad you've only got an hour of work left. Yes. What are your plans for the evening? <clears throat> oh. You can tell the story of Street Kid V. Knife to Junkie tried to knife one of my chooms. When we were about 13, this guy was old, skin and bone with a borked cyber arm. A vet of some war, we thought. Begging on the streets every day. I always liked the guy, actually. Man. That's raw. Rather not relive that right now, but thinking about it reminds me of what I'm doing here and why I gotta deal with the here and now. I'm running out of time. <clears throat> Damn. Damn, that's real. Shit's real. Why, why are you texting? You gotta save her every day. I say on my 14th Instagram post of the day. Ow. Get out there and make it happen. Don't wait for other people this to write your fate for you. If you're hearing this, you've come to the right place. NCTV, gang wars, not in God town. Taxes, who the fuck needs it? Oh, flippy flips, hell yeah. Whoa. Chunky. Well, let's see here. What do I want to mess with? Nice! The coolest slide check. Oh, you can put a, put a guy on it, huh? Hmm, okay. Oops, sorry. Hmm. Stickman Mayhem. Thanks for the sub. That sounds like a very, very popular animation on Newgrounds or something. I need to add the Stickman uh, Kung Fu fights. What? What the hell? I need to add those to Media Tech. I finally started uh, converting some classic Ots memes. I need to get like all your base and Badger Badger in there. The the real Goldens, the Golden Oldies. Busy. I've been, I've been working on it. More uh, awkward 2000s anime club home videos to look forward to. Ah! Yeah. Chow Chow. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce them, but yeah, those were always the coolest. watching those a ton. I saved the shockwave files locally so that I could replay them so that they would run as smooth as possible. Okay. 
Oh yeah, the GI Joe PSAs. Oh man, yeah, those are those are classic. Hi. You gonna be weird about this? I don't know. He was there. Computer. Pretty early attempt, or pretty early example of viral absurdist humor. That's also kind of about like lo-fi remixes of existing media. It's cool to see. Oh, here we go. Tried it already, huh? That's some logo shit, right? Hit me like a plush dragon, man. Where'd you get that stuff? Dodgers boys dropped it off. Good tunes. I'm glad you're buddies with them. Dodger really has everything going for him, doesn't he? Drug money, HQ in Pacifica, NC Dogtown connection. Everything belongs to Hanson anyway. Dodger's just a pup on his leash. We like Dodger. <laughs> There's leashes and leashes. His seems to be a pretty loose one. I don't know if this is going to turn hostile territory at some point. No? Whoa, this is awesome. Where's the what? Don't fuck with me, too. Ooh. Liminal spaces. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta grab those. Solid recommendation. There was like this, I found this video that nostalgia bombed even me. What a fucking shit star. But it was a, it's a shockwave flash parody of the Banana Boat song, but with George W. Bush and Osama bin Laden. Yeah, solo XP. Booyah! Love those wiener doors. Reed, you copy? Made it to the hallway. Copy you loud and clear. I'm in position too. Or what about the one of two dudes who were talking like... They're both the perfect strangers guy. Uh, about getting an NES and playing Mario. That's a that's a pretty that's a good one. All right, tactical diving suit. This is not gonna be like Escape from New York at all. Sploosh. I guess really Metal Gear Solid. I'm in the water. Good. Now find a way to the other side. No, it was underwater in Escape from New York, right? He was like in a little submarine? Or was he flying? He probably lacked the manpower to secure the passages. Yeah, Mario Twins, that's it. Again, the classics. I'm kind of... I'm a bit torn. Sometimes I'm like... Adding things like, like Chocolate Rain or Rebecca Black's Friday, adding things like that seem like it steps over a weird line because it's not really abandoned media. But, Ow. but also, I don't know, I don't know. It's it's right on the line. I go back and forth. Maybe I do need to add that stuff. He inserted in a special glider and escape from New York with fake CGI to navigate. Yeah, the little wireframes. Okay. Or fake wireframes. This is sick. I'm not claustrophobic. Yeah, no fish AI. Not yet, anyway. Well, there's not any fish, right? It's it's lore. That's actually it's actually good. There's no fish. Figured out the patrol routes. Got them down. Set myself a safe path through and past them. Cyberpunk has no advanced fish AI, and here's why that's a good thing. But it 
does have tier two item components. Pretty sure fish can live in the poop water. Yeah, I don't know. I was just making something up. What if you, like, what if you got Todd Howard and strapped him to a chair and made him watch this? Game that has diving in it, going underwater. Don't look away, Todd. You see this. Okay. Oh, right. It's right, it's right there. Imagine Todd Howard standing over my shoulder, being like, this is bad gameplay. This is bad. You're just holding W. It's bad. Who cares? The player doesn't care, is what Todd is telling me right now while I'm playing. We decided to focus on features that matter. Whoa, look at that! That's a really cool waterline effect. Oh my god! Whoa! I've never seen something like that before. The way it kind of distorts at the waterline, and it's just like a, a sort of like black line. That's cool. Wow. What do you have to say about that, Todd? Speechless. Got nothing to say. That's what I thought. Get it? No? Okay. To drain the water or something? <laughs> Bay J. Thanks for gifting a couple subs there. Appreciate that. to respond you have to remove the duct tape well what happened last time I did that huh we just had a bunch of screaming and arguments about game design and we don't need that anymore are wearing a mask. Well, maybe not. I mean, they said the water was toxic. I think there has to be a mask. It's sewage proof. I'm all squeaky. Look at us doing spy shit, though. Spies! down for some environment navigation stuff. I always like the sections in Half-Life where you were just kind of like going through tunnels and climbing on things. Just like cozy interior environments. 
Metroid Prime is like saturated in them. It's so good. You sure it's in the system? Because if it is, then either it's been stolen or I'm just fucking blind. Just keep looking. Shit's on my list. Plane is fucking dead. Are you still there? Sure am. I'm at the warehouse gate. You'll need to secure the area, crack it open from the other side. Oh. Alright, let's see. Oh, you. I do like that it shows you the damage that it's gonna do. supposed to do i look like the fucking hotel receptionist to you other entrance Livery. did you spot anything interesting liquor boxes and such and you collected our tax of course oh man that interior looks outrageous oh Ah, there you are. Look at a man of action, snapping necks, being stealthy. What's the sitch? See a gate, two guards. Don't worry about them. Jimmy, open that gate. There you go. Oh yeah, pure ponage. Yeah, somebody yesterday suggested the boom headshot clip. Right to the top. Is it FPS Mike? Down. FPS Doug. I think. See, even then it starts to cross over into some other things like uh like some of the more classic uh angry video game nerd clips. I guess if it's just clips. That's the big thing. I don't mind putting clips in a thing, especially if it leads to somebody like spiking somebody's curiosity and then they potentially go go watch stuff. Stormtrooper Jin, what do you mean? I'm not sure what you mean, Stormtrooper. Probably Wisp, thanks for gifting a couple of subs. Anyone else heard something? It's gotta be checked Ooh. out. Gotta be here somewhere. Where are those gunks? Blind as Guardian! Someone does Guardian. Around. Thank you for gifting. I think we got visitors. Wow, you really have to be doing nothing else when you hit the button to draw a weapon. Otherwise, it just won't do it. What's the deal with the sniper rifle? Oops. I already resub it. Maybe it was too early. No, uh, that's the support a streamer program, which if you gift two subs, you get a really long code that you can redeem for a sniper rifle. Yeah. And I am part of that program. Ugh. So if you give two subs, then you'll get a, you'll get a really long code for stuff. That's separate than the drops program, which is where you can get pants. 
You're gonna want these pants, because Twitch really likes telling you about them. Uh, speaking of, I have to save my pants and use the restroom. I'll be right back. Whoa! Holy moly, holy cow. Hachimachi. PK Onet. Just gifted to 20 subs. How do you expect me to not pee all over myself with generosity like that? Just all over. Hands, eyes, teeth, everything. Thank you. Did your pants leave the bathroom unscathed? They did. Luckily, I was able to keep, uh, keep a steady hand. Because these hype levels had not been breached. Get in there. I keep thinking that's... Lower gun. Thank you very much, PK. I appreciate that. Oh, yeah, somebody was asking. It's actually a good time to bring it up, I guess. Somebody was asking. Oh, you got the trading card in the mail. Awesome. Love to see it. Yeah, the, the US Postal Service really comes through. Anyway. <clears throat> somebody was asking if uh, there will be a subathon this Friday. We're in the wolf's den now. Maybe. Scared of him. I think it might just be. I'm going to stay up really late playing Call of Duty. And then. I do want some kind of like gifting sub thing going on because they're on sale. Um, so it might be like you can buy days of media tech. It's just a fact that needs accept. Does it mean I'm shaking? Like a hundred subs means media tech goes another day. I have in the adequate. Thanks for gifting two subs. All right, find a vantage point to have eyes on me. Neutralize any and all threats. Call it quiet. And yeah, maybe. I don't. I mean, I could link it to playtime, but I don't know if that's necessary. Oh, whoa! I don't know if that's like a, a motivator for anyone. Yeah. MediaTek Meltdown. MediaTekathon. It's like, it's the cleanest way, really, for the people who want it to throw money at it and then buy a lot of it. And then that way, it, it also lets me escape from any concern about about needing to uh, keep my metrics up. <laughs> You're basically paying me to tank them, so that's fine. That's all the metrics mean anyway, is money. So if people want to pay me directly for it, then that's great. Right. Neutralize the sniper. This looks like the backdrop in Skyfall. When Bond gets into a chop fight with that one person. Yeah, that was quite a bit more brutal. Sniper. Nesting in his perch now. Had the perfect vantage point. Saw everything. Cover me. You're in prime duck hunting position. New user detected. Calibration in progress. Firing mode inactive. I'm in position. Do you have a visual on me? I got you. What now? It's gonna be like Metal Gear Solid. It's nice and quiet if we can. Got it. Spot any guards in my. So yeah, I'll probably have some yeah, meters up. meters up on Friday. Don't worry, boss. Right. I don't think I have any plans Friday or Saturday this week. Doesn't look like it. I think I am doing something on Sunday though. Hmm. Okay. That's fine. Sports a silencer if it comes to that. Better look around. Cam's galore here. Should have access once the sniper's nest completes calibration. Good. They could prove useful. Healthy smattering of guards along your path. Copy that. We'll take them out one by one. Best if they never knew we were here. The only way for somebody to not know something is if their brain has been exploded. See the main elevator shaft. Too risky. There'll be sentries up top. Keep an eye on it, though. See a bunch of containers. Could use them to get to your side. Yeah, see them too. Let me build that bridge. There's a service elevator nearby. We'll take that up. Gotta get there first, right though. Kid or the heel Calibration kid. complete. Firing mode active.
Got a mine just past the corner. Well spotted. I could have missed it. Yeah. How amazing would that be if he just takes off and explodes right away because you don't tell him about the mine right in front of him? I'm kind of regretting it. Let's have one last look around. Don't forget, hallway's mined. Besides that, the coast is clear. Understood. Moving out. Is that a turret? It is. Visual. Kill it. Sensor disabled. Good work. Proceeding forward. This is a fun little way to throw in some variety. Established. Oh. I need an assist. You take the guard on the left. The one behind the wall's mine. Got a clear shot. No one was your mark. You gotta be more specific. That was pretty cool though. Good job. Let's keep moving. Also another bond reference, maybe busting through the drywall. I mean I guess that's doing the Kool-Aid man isn't exactly like a bond thing. It just makes me think of Casino Royale. I guess I saw that that room or uh heading your way. article that Nolan is, I guess, rumored to be directing the next bond. That could be interesting, I guess. I don't know if no one can make a popcorn flick. Maybe Bond isn't popcorn anymore. It's got to be like deep and have commentary. Huh. I guess he wants it to be like a, a full 60s spy thriller, right? That's more true to the Fleming books. Uh oh. I think he spotted me. They're on the staff. Good work. Proceeding forward. Which doesn't that mean that Bond is kind of more of like an alcoholic loser? Thanks. I haven't read any of the actual Bond novels. That might be fun, actually. Those might be fun reads. Why not? I'm in position. Guards in view. You need to take him out. Do you see that cab above me? We can flip it on him. camera's mine. Good. Tag out target and fire. The rifle should punch right through that wall. Whoa. Fire? You there? Oh, I see. Okay. Ah. 
guards down. Nice. Smooth work. Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess it's just where my whims are at right now, but I just kind of want there to be a dumb, fun spy thriller movie. I feel like no one might coming. be a little too talented. Remember that, dude? Let's go. The guards could have spotted me, V. I need you to deal with them before they're on me. Oh. Clear. You can make your way to the bridge. Fine work. Spy thriller like what Bourne films? Actually, Mission Impossible, now that I think about it. I haven't even seen uh, Endgame Part 1, though. Or whatever it is. Wait. It's not Endgame. That was Avengers. And Tom. The Tom Lenium. And this. Thank you very much for the sub. Oh, that's 12 months. E. Thank you. very much Maverick one because it's like Maverick one but also Maverick W O N because he does isn't that cool 60 year old man impersonates a 30 year old man impersonating a spy I love it it's getting so much harder to like dodge the fact that he's old and yet the movies keep coming Oh, that's kind of cool. Crouch sprinting or sliding. Oh. Okay, yeah. I want to follow this down. I'm using optical camo quite a bit. Mission Impossible films are turning into superhero movies. Yeah, Rayum. Superhero movies consumed all fantasy action. All of it. There's no, there's no movies with, like, interesting personal stakes anymore because everybody's superhuman. I guess that was always, to me, always the point of Mission Impossible was to, to do stunts that were always more grounded and practical. And that was, again, also part of the selling point. But, like, I don't know. Silky smooth work. It's getting a little out there. Well played. I'm impressed. Let's head to the elevator. Follow me. Gray Man felt very detached. Like, all of the action sequences sequences it just I couldn't they all looked like they were on a soundstage it was like actors just like rolling over green blocks I couldn't not see it I get that I get that hit with some films there's just like these shots from like day. I don't buy any of this it's just gymnasts frolicking almost every which is cool Fucking to watch I guess but. you're looking a little pale Not looking all that spry yourself, old timer. Clearly been a while since your last op. I may be past my prime, but unlike you, I have a more valuable weapon in my arsenal than any. Prem-ass leather coat you wear? Novi. Experience. Yeah, Blind as Guardian. Pretty fun to go back to the original Mission Impossible, see a young, scared-for-his-life Tom Cruise compared to Superhero Cruise. Yeah, for some of the movies, Cruise was always really good at at like giving looks of panic, worry, or or terror, which helps kind of sell the reality of an of a of an action sequence. It's funny because it went from one, which is like theoretically the most mortal that character is, to two, where he is an action hero. But the movie the movie's not really coy about its stakes or its rules, so it's not like they try to pull one over on you. Three's a weird mix. He gets thrown around a little bit. Um and nothing he does is particularly superhuman. There is the only thing that's super weird about three is when he's interrogating uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman. The only time he's like super powered is when he's really mad because Philip Seymour Hoffman's getting under his skin and he goes like, Rah! and then he throws he throws this dude, this like 200 pound dude who's bolted to a metal chair all the way across the room, twirling through the air. And I was like, what? With one hand, rah, he just Hulk tosses him. But yeah, Philip Seymour Hoffman was amazing. 
Like in the the thing is like villains carry those films. They always do. And he was so good. He's he's a lot of the reason three is so fun. Uh, a lot of intensity, but with that like watchable Abrams popcorn charm, or it almost it's almost so so blunt it's endearing. And then they got weird. I think four was trying to be like a '60s spy thriller, so we'll see. Stas, thanks for the sub. How many ops you been on? Ballpark. One of the number of years you've been around. But right now, we're crashing the party of a bad boy dictator. While aiming to walk out with his prized possession. I thought we were going to end up, like, talking directly to Hellman and not not just bouncing off of him in this, in this clandestine way. Oh, yeah. King Egg. Oh, my gosh. Javier Bardem in Skyfall was amazing. Like, the best villain in recent... I mean, Mads Mikkelsen was really good, but yeah. Probably the best ever. Javier Bardem. He actually managed to find like new new ground in that very small role. And yes, very much, very much saved those parts of it. Yeah, parts of Skyfall were a little weird. I don't know. Um, I guess part of Bond now is is like reference and commentary on archetype. It's interesting. Uh I remember commenting on like some anime, how some, some sometimes it's so fourth dimensionally uh concerned with commenting on itself that it loses the ability to just tell basic and interesting stories anymore i feel like that was skyfall like unlike something super weird like specter which was nothing but distracting and, and bizarre references uh some of the stuff in skyfall felt very awkward unless you were like interested in it in a bond reboot kind of way new threads and plaster on your best fake smile a party awaits. There's something super weird about Skyfall. Bardem totally won. He got exactly what he wanted. He died, but that was always part of his plan. I like stories like that. Ooh. Shit. All right. It's I like stories where oh well fuck. Set. He's so large. Yeah, you're a real looker. Now come on. <laughs> Meme. Man, that stick pin in the middle? That brooch, I guess? Nice. The gold accents are classy. And boys night out with my main man. My A number one homie. Oh, look at the slouch. It's so good. The necklace! Gotta hand it to Hanson, V. Party's hum. Has a sense of grandeur. Didn't have shit like this in my day. Now hop on over there and help me out. Manage to forget what real champagne tastes like. Awesome. I don't know the the careful the ultra careful management of uh, of uh, mortality is one of the things that makes Die Hard work so so well, and Bruce Willis plays an absolute absolutely amazing action lead in that movie. This is I'm sure there are think pieces deconstructing this, but the older I get, the more I swear he brought like sensitivity to that role. I mean, you had like Sylvester Stallone having PTSD breakdowns and stuff, uh, but like. Die Hard 1, Bruce Willis, John McClane is actually a really sensitive guy. He just doesn't really know how to process that. And he turns all that into being a renegade cop who flies off the handle. But, like, he's kind of in tune with his emotions. He knows when he fucks up his his conversations with his wife. And he he's on the verge of being able to admit that it, like, insults his masculinity. But he's he wants to be okay with it. I don't know. There's There's a lot of layers there. You get to see him take like a towel bath at the beginning, and he, like his physique is like. We at the bar if you need me. He's lean but believable. About yeah, believable. Oh my god, this place. Is Johnny dressed up too? 
Sort of, accidentally. I have the alternate Johnny skin equipped. It's just uh, something that they patched into the game. Politicians, diplomats, celebrities, corporate sex, gang bosses. Welcome. Would you care for some champagne? You know I would. Don't mind if I do. A pleasant evening to you. Have you ever seen a most wanted man? I don't think so. Doesn't doesn't ring any bells. Whoa. Well, this is campaign investigation. No, no, I, I know that it was specially done for us. Payment is not my issue. I just need the people. Is there no alternative? Here's the deal. Either we get some proof of purchase, or there's another. Man. Yeah, Rayam. He's always talking to himself too. Like he he rambles, which is humanizes him and also is a vector to like expose a lot of his sensitivities to the audience. He was a really interesting counterpoint to like Arnold, who was just a slab who kills everybody. Oh, is this the health track? Fuck yeah. Salud amigo. Appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, he like, there's he, or sorry, in Die Hard One. Don't mind if I do. Appreciate it. There's like a whole part in the middle where he breaks down crying on the radio, talking to his his buddy, because he's afraid. It's totally a scene I didn't remember until I watched it the most recent time. Uh, we need equipment that can. But it's uh, pretty daring stuff. This isn't about who has the right credentials. You just have to speak Hansen's language. I think it's a lot of those scenes that really make Die Hard work. Because of a few trumped up military slogans? That's not what I mean. He needs to be shown his projected profits and losses in plain writing without any sugar coating. So you think I'm sugar coating? You signed a contract with Night City. Well done. Just leave Hanson to me. And like most of what happens in Die Hard is possible. Find a way to cock it up. The thing where they kind of lose lose it is like when he drops in the elevator shaft. He falls like 40 feet and then grabs an, a ledge with his hands. But whatever. We let it slide. Actually, Jack Reacher is a, an interesting action film that is pretty grounded in everything that happens. And, and speaking of, I bring this up every time, but Chris McQuarrie also directed Way of the Gun, which is another movie that almost like, it almost retains its realism. Uh, like it dedicates screen time to being realistic. It goes out of its way to represent certain things in a very like direct light. You and my friends over there, all we need to do is team up. Oh yeah, Hurricanes. I saw the first couple episodes of the Jack Reacher show. I thought the casting was was amazing. It really just made me wish I was watching a, a Wolfenstein show. Because that dude would be the most incredible BJ Blaskowitz, but we can only hope. Uh, yeah, I agree, A. Michael. The, the whole cast of, uh, of Way of the Gun is pretty incredible. Ryan Felipe, Nicio Del Toro, and ah, I feel so bad. She's so good, and I always blank on her name. Juliette Lewis. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, that was one of those movies I just kind of stumbled across and watched and I was like, wow, there's there's some there's some juice to this. There's something special about this. And then Chris McCory like did nothing for 20 years until he did Jack Reacher with Tom Cruise and now he's he's the Mission Impossible guy. So it's like the the best version of all realities happened. What now? That's why I need to watch uh, I know as much as you do. All she said Tom Game Part here. 1. Maybe I'll watch she that tonight. Us it's out of digital, isn't left it? Or something. And you What's your play? Gonna stroll and mingle. My spotter in the crowd. Good idea. I haven't seen Altered Carbon. Wait, I watched the first couple right. episodes. Boots far back behind the stairs. Guy in the fatigues. Looks like he came here straight from a firing range. Owner of the Black Sapphire, Mr. D-Town himself. 
Kurt Hansen, clearly having a great night in the company of the NCPD commissioner. PA broadcast, he fierce in anti-law enforcement. It's an act. Behind closed doors, he's rubbing elbows and patting backs of NCPD's top brass. Avoid him, especially in a confrontation. Beside that, stay visible. Songbird said she'd find us here. Let's give her a chance. I'll grab a drink and look around. Open line on comms. Don't press anyone too hard. We need to keep up appearances. Look like you're having fun. Gin and tonic, please. Hey, I'm looking for a friend. Who's supposed to meet me here? Hmm. This is pretty cool. Party mingling. I didn't quite grab who the person I'm supposed to stay away from is. Oh, I remember hearing Way the Gun hasn't aged well, and I believe it, but I remember there's one thing I never saw in a movie otherwise. One of the protagonists dives into an empty fountain for cover, and it turns out people had been throwing empty rear bottles into it, so his arms are basically filled with broken glass. Hello. Yeah, the so the I remember that, actually. The interesting thing about that scene is that they show him, like, gagging for a second after after he's been wounded in that way. And that's the only movie I've seen ever that portrays that the fact that people tend to like want to throw up if they suffer bone trauma um actually that happens in that happens in mortal Kombat. you kick someone so hard they barf but yeah people don't really barf in action movies unless it's minority report and they get hit with a six stick but yeah that uh that actually happens uh source trust me or rather uh i was taking jujitsu at the time and I remember getting cracked really hard in my forearm, and it ma- it like made me convulse, it made me want to throw up. But luckily, I didn't really have anything to throw up, so it didn't happen. And then my instructor was like, "Yeah, if you break your arm, you barf." <laughs> That's something that they never really tell you. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I remember seeing it in that movie and being like, "What?" Uh, they like, and that's one of those things that. Uh, that that movie does. And that's kind of what I mean. Like it, it specifically showed that it pointed the camera at that and showed it, um, which is not really something that happens. So I don't know. I thought that was neat. Uh, there's a lot of things like that in that movie. There's a, another scene that sticks out to me is like, there's, they show this, they show sniper fire from the perspective of somebody who's getting shot at. And there's a whole, whole sequ- Well, there's one shot that shows the muzzle flash. And then like a second, then you hear the bullet and then you hear the, the whip crack of the, the gunshot. So I was like, Whoa, this is the only movie I've seen that also tries to replicate that. Uh, the like relative speeds of all those things. Anyway, it's cool stuff. Just weird what sticks with you over time. So the rest of it hasn't aged well. I remember it kind of being one of those uh, in the wake of Pulp Fiction films that was just kind of obsessed with character-driven crime narratives. In my day, no competition. Soviet models, worst scum. Human trafficking, murder King fire, Egg, it's way of the gun. Debt collection. Shit sounds bad as is, but they actually managed to turn the horror up a notch. Well, edgy 90s misogyny and probably homophobia that I'm forgetting. I see. Yeah, Juliette Lewis was like... I remember she was kind of thrown around. I don't know about physically, but certainly like the movie did not like shower her with esteem, I suppose. Oh, without remorse on Amazon Prime is actually really good. They get a lot of that military content right, and it's not too Hollywoodized. Without remorse, okay. Ain't yeah. to get fucked up on Hanson's dime and puke all over his carpets. Respect. Heck yeah. Thanks a lot. I like it. Oh. Same guy from Tenet? Okay. I didn't know that was Denzel Washington's son. I liked how I liked his portrayal in Tenet. I just thought that the Just in case you're still wondering why I hate corporal rats a little horse. You're a hired gun and petty thief, but I'd say your presence at this party is still raising the moral bar. There's so many, uh, 
I don't know, there's so many, like, every streaming service has their flavor of, of like, one of five kinds of shows. Appreciate it. So it's hard to tell which ones are good. I guess I should just get more in the habit of impulsively trying whatever. You know, what's the worst thing that could happen? But then again, there's also cheaters. I'm still working my way through season one. There's a lot of cheating going on. Damn it. I could go up there. I feel no shame. Yeah, Mike, you aren't. I, I remember everybody criticizing the uh, the audio mix in Tenet, and I was like, ah, oh, everybody's they're being babies. And then I finally watched it, and I was like, holy cow, that's terrible. How could any human with ears think this is this is okay? I don't get it. Anyway. Always been a civil, reasonable man. Jillian, dear, there's nothing. Can you explain the appeal of GOG.com again? Not to mention, well, let's see. It's short for good old games, that's what they sell. A lot of older games that might not be playable or even buyable, downloadable, enjoyable in any way. Just don't come close. So they're, they're pretty critical for game preservation. But also, you're the one accusing him of attempting to murder everything they sell is DRM free. In front of Always. millions of viewers, no less. That's the job, as we all know. Fucking so, words any game phone. you download from them, you can just install, copy, Here, words actually matter. put on a hard drive, send to a friend, they can play it, whatever. DRM free. All right, Steph just came home, so I'm gonna ask her something real quick. I'll be right back. On the nose. Oh, God. Hey, everybody. I'm back. Ready to party. Oh, the song we're gonna be real? Just standing there? Hold on. Cheers. Oh, yeah, Pee Pee Poo Poo. I have to steal a relic from Arsaka Tower? Surely nothing will go wrong? Oh. Wait. Dang it, that is her. She's just standing there. All right, well, there goes my AI theory. <clears throat> B, it's good you're here. The stress. Not what you expected. Oh. Is it the haircut? Damn. Dress looks good on you. Thank you. That was the surprising bit, I'm sure. It's so good you're here. Don't know what I'd do without you, V. Really. Good to finally meet you in the flesh, face to face. Where our last convo ended was troubling. The, uh, runner. Your friend. Who, who helped us reconnect last time. Killed him. Fried him, didn't I? Sure did. Oh. You didn't kill Slider. Blackwall did. Look as hell, it didn't flatline you too. I ran out of time. To explain... Everything. Saul. I've made... So many mistakes. It's all right, son. Not your fault. The blame's on us. All of it. On you? I is all of them. I know what they made you do. They pushed and pushed, and I... I wasn't there to stop it. I'll let them talk. Fuck it. We'll talk later. First order of business, oh, we pull you out of here. That's not happening. It is. We got in, we can get out. Just not the me. point. I'm dying, Saul. Like V. Hmm. Hansen has the cure we need. 
We run now, we both die. Relic's killing V. Blackwall's my poison. I can't bow out now. I'm... <clears throat> I'm, I'm vaguely annoyed by how they're just sort of generically throwing things on the black wall. Unless black wall, one word is something else and I've just misunderstood. Um, I guess it wouldn't really take much, just like one throwaway phrase to explain exactly what's going on. But they just say black wall. They don't say like uh, some random AI in the black, like some ice that is chasing her. I don't know. <sighs> Unless I miss something. I don't know. Maybe I was Whoa, sharing a boat to oblivion with me? It's a virus. Could've said something. Had no time. Still don't. But hear me out. I need help. Your help. Hansen pulled some tech out of a bunker under Dogtown. Tech that could cure both V and me. We need to clep it. Only way I see of doing that is to stay close. Play the prisoner. So, fuck. We'll wait for an opportunity and pounce. I'll be on the inside. Ask for your help when the time's right. I can flee once I have that tech. Nothing's ever simple, is it? Ah. So me. Ooh. Care to introduce your friends? Man, this guy. It's not often I'm simply not familiar with guests attending my own party. And I never forget a face. Kurt Hansen. Oh my god. Name's V. Just V. Haven't seen so many in years. Trying to catch up. Oh, that's what this is. To me, reunions consist of picking up the broken, scattered shards of your heart. Or teeth. Always hurts. You're such a brick, God. Well, I need to grab you, darling. I have a couple NC politicos here who are dying to meet you. And if we're to keep hungry rats from devouring Dogtown, we really do need to feed them the occasional scraps. I'm all yours, Kurt. See you soon, V. That's interesting. Reestablished our link the moment I touched you. <clears throat> interesting. I need a minute to process. And I need a drink. Heading downstairs. I'll explain everything. Just need you to listen. What's the deal, Song? Doubt I've ever seen a prisoner parade around in a cocktail dress at a swanky party. Not to mention being hella friendly with their captor. It's a charade, V. Doing what I need to survive to get what I want. I'm letting Hansen show me off like his personal trophy. V, I... I can't explain everything now. It's too much. But I really do need your help. All I want is... You just said you were going to say everything. It's what I've been chasing all You just along. said that. The cure. How do we get it? We need the... Oh, title. Matrix. Thank you very much. Here. Appreciate that. Secret tech that incorporates AIs from beyond the black wall. The Matrix is nested in a mainframe Hansen pulled out of the bunker. The mainframe secured, but Hansen lacks the key. That's the problem. Oh, what? Stream info failed to update. Why? I'm just asking questions. It's just all I wanted to do was make the title Idris Elba has a foot fetish? <clears throat> Twitch decides that's too it's too much. It's too much. Some child might see that and explode. We can't have that, can we? Hmm. There we go. Whatever. Got it. Neural matrix. What is it exactly? In short, it's storage. A carrier for an AI trapped within certain boundary conditions. 
When the AI's triggered, it'll execute what's stipulated within those conditions. But I really can't go into detail now. We don't have the time. Yeah, well... Got a plan, spill it. Hansen needs me and a duo of runners who worked on this tech in the past. They actually grabbed access codes they're willing to unload for a price. Classic black market shit. They're bringing access, I'm bringing know-how about how to pull the matrix and data off the mainframe. We're to work side by side, giving us a chance. You clip the access codes, then get the runners out of the way. You'll then impersonate them for a meet with Hansen. Say meet or we'll swipe the matrix out from under his nose. More double crosses. So, runners, we're to impersonate him? How? Personality theft tech. Arm kind of specializes in it. Oh Alex and we know it well. They'll explain. Of all people, couldn't have imagined those two would be on our side helping. This job, this whole story about Hanson. Not adding up something fierce, Song. You're hiding something, still. I don't have time to explain the ins and outs now. Uh. We, please, we need the Matrix. Focus on the runners. Find them. They're here. Downstairs. Red-headed twins, walled to the teeth with ice. Grocery scans will show you bunk. You're blowing me off. Champagne glass over there. Prep some intel for you. Get it to read. You'll need it later. Oh. Really need to go now, V. Was that supposed to I'm happen? I'm counting on you. Is that normal? And she's gone. Nobody's reacting. To that? No? Okay. I guess that's a normal thing. Everybody's, everybody's chill with that. Incredible. Just dazzling. Go downstairs. Plenty of room near the stage. This. What was I doing, man? Hey, keep it down. Delicate Weapon by Grimes and Lizzy Wizzy. Grimes and her cybery alter ego. That's pretty cool. This seems like 
the kind of thing that's like borderline feasible right now. Like borderline. Within 10 years, maybe. Clever. Oh, Pink has done shows where she floats around a whole stadium. I didn't know that. Okay. All right. Bravo! Bravo! <laughs> Sorry, that was weird. Rumi Bongo's Your Bravo popped up at exactly the time that the NPC in the game said that. Hey, you look a little lost. You have the same hair. You'd sing? The one and only. <laughs> Wouldn't feel like giving me company for the rest of the evening, would you? Night's still young. Later, maybe. What a wink! Right. Okay. Bored. Oh, it's up, Fair King. Hey, this guy looks exactly like your room. I'm fucking Ken. Sure that ain't Takamura. Are you fucking kidding me? Just one more. <laughs> what? Is... <laughs> Exactly like my friend, Goro Takamura. Did he also just get out of rehab? Lost his employer recently. They were close. He's adjusting to his new life. Not easy for a guy like him. Had him not to lose hope. If one is industrious, there is no shortage of work in Night City. Maybe your friend would like to try his hand at show business. I could use a double for any days. <laughs> Might actually take you up on that. I'll let him know. Watch out. I will hold you to your word. What an unexpected conversation. All right, yeah. You never know what's going to happen with it. Belly up to the bar. Huh. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Solomon Reed is waiting for me. You know what? Why not? Why not? One more, whatever that is. Garcon. Enjoy. Thanks. Oh, damn, shabby streamer. Wow. Oh, you got the my picture of Shadow's dick gift. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you for gifting five subs. Very, very generous. Thank you very much. Of course, I'm always open to compromise. Would you care for a drink? Weird definition on those sushi rolls. They have like comic book outlines. You get white girl wasted. Oh. It's been a while since I've like gone for it with sugary drinks. I have to wait for proper occasions these days. One more, please. I need a walking down the hallway drink. They're always so uh, pristine. Taking out the glass and pouring the drink. I like this backdrop though. That's nice. Uh, thank you very much. 
Seems your special agent has special needs. Trying to drown his sins and sorrows. Yeah, all the all the Johnny lines this time are so much the more same, uh, down the, the road of reminding you of what's going on in the story. Or just kind of pointing out nuance that you might miss. You claim Kurt was pleased. So it's more I'm just like rolling commentary instead of... If only in your negotiations with the bald twerp from the consular. Being a character that's sort of bursting out himself. For public consumption, of course. We didn't put two ministers behind bars to have him appear neutral now. That ship has sailed. Mumbai branch is losing patience fast. Remind him tomorrow. So cool. Naturally, of course. Well, here goes nothing. I saw you simping for that mangy slut from N54. Honey, I was just being nice. Ugh, they don't pay you to be nice. You still You're say simping and be tending to business. The cyber future? You know, I could tell Carlos. Nice. I talked to the cartel alone again because my husband caught a whiff of available pussy. Tell you what, I'll talk to Carlos. Just so happens the mangy slut from N54 disclosed some shit he'll be very interested in hearing, honey. Cyber simping? That's true elevated simping of the future. I guess that's kind of like... Being prepared. Betting will resume in minutes. Cyber simping is throwing a bunch of money at a VTuber. Or no, an AI. Come on, come on. One more win. Just one more. This table is full. Please join another. Thank you. This is is Caught simping in the club. Yeah. <laughs> AI VTuber, there we go. By the relic. We can communicate again. Mm. The gun? All good there, Reed? Yeah. I just need to process for a minute. It's just mm. how I'm built. Maybe talk about a way. Adversity and I need a few moments to think. Yep. Come up with anything? Yeah. What are you thinking we about? I don't know who took a swipe of Myers' head. What are you thinking? Don't know about you, but I see coincidences as patterns, structures we have yet to recognize. Hmm. What you driving at? SF-1 crashes. Not anywhere, but over specific turf. Controlled by someone who found some obscure forgotten tech in a secret bunker. Right. Crash was an inside job. We suspected that from the get-go. Now we know it was. And we know it was Songbird. She was behind it. Did we? Too early for conclusions, don't you think? Got no proof she planned this in advance. Could have improvised, reacted to facts. Come on, you don't actually think she learned about the cure just now? Oh, I see. <clears throat> she made a deal with Hanson earlier. Had to before any of this went down. Traded the president's life for access to the tech. Hmm. The NUS Prez sold to a crime lord. Huge if true. Why would you contact V though? Maya's pressured Somi to reach further, breach boundaries. And then Somi snapped. Don't know about that. Song recruited me specifically to pull Myers out of that wreck. Seriously, Dad, she wanted her dead or snatched by Hanson. It's never that simple, V. <laughs> You're not playing 4D chess. As I see it. Somi was playing both sides, simultaneously spinning deals with Hanson and you. Oh, my God. She has Hanson set. Then you come in. She contacts you via the relic, asks you to rescue the president. Absolution for her right there. You need to cure just as much, guaranteeing you'll help if her plan falls through. Okay, sure. And here we are. Yeah, and here we are, rushing to Songbird's rescue. Thinking a few steps ahead was always her strength. But judgment calls and situational assessment, her Achilles heel. As a chess master, she'd be famous for dazzling plays and excruciatingly beautiful defeats. <laughs> what? Uh, he's got me questioning. Sheesh. Don't know what to believe just yet. That's not surprising. 
But I know Somi well enough to know she'll do her damnedest to be fair. So, what are you thinking about all this? I'm not convinced Somi's to blame for everything. In this trade, nothing's ever as it seems. You gotta keep asking questions till you get to the bottom of it. That's experience talking. The bottom of it, feet. The main thing now is to get her out of this cesspool of a sitch. All the way down. See which direction to take. Get those shoes off. Still can't figure you out, Reed. Trying to stay true to both the FIA and your friend. Could be a recipe for failure. Think I don't know that? I want to gather info. Know where I stand before I decide the way forward. Just how I'm built. Right. Back to the sitch at hand. What do we have to do to save her? To grab the tech Songbird and I both need, we gotta go to a meet with Hansen. Prep for it's required. Because we show up as a pair of runners. Need to collect their identities first. Whatever that means. Personality imprint theft. Sounds like our Colombian job of yore. What? Who are they and where do we find them? The Colombian job. So, how's one go about it? Klepping someone's personality? FIA Menanthropic Tech. Addicts has access. You seem to use it already. You look, sound, and act like the individual whose personality you assume. To do it, we need scans of our targets. Yeah, we're still gaming. I don't know for how much longer, but Song got this I'm really enjoying this. Take a look. Our targets are a brother and sister, red-haired twins. They're here somewhere, schmoozing. Hmm. Okay, we need to pull data, get samples of assorted behavior. We make contact with them, talk, scan as we talk. What? Got it, I think. So, time to make our move? Over there. <laughs> wow. Traced him in a flash, Reed. Noticed them some time ago. They stand out even in this mountain pot. Twin roulette, looks like. Alex, you copy that? Radio loud and clear. Prep and scan tech now. You're new to this, but relax. We'll do it as a four-hander. I scan one, you handle the other. Alex will pilot us through. V, zipping funds your way from our operating budget. Uh, Load up on chips and join their game. That's Just fun. Don't go all in from the get-go. We stagger our approach, and we're strangers. Let's get to this. Man, they let you do bond shit like this? Struck gold with roulette, really. Gambling throws people around. High and low, brings the joy of winning and the despair of defeat. Perfect for our purposes. Buy chips. Greetings, sir. Want to buy some chips? Of course. Good luck at the tables. Hmm. <sighs> Fuck it. We're gonna make some money tonight. V, important. You're not there to have fun. Simple bets, red or black only. None of the double street or basket bullshit. Understood? <laughs> Understood. Double Need street or basket emotion, bullshit? So provoke, but subtly so, or they'll clam up. Scan will be a bust. Okay. Ten. Will you join us? Black. Aurora Castle. Place your bets, please. Hmm. Betting's open. By all means. Black it is then. Oh, that's so sick. Do, 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 do. Relax. Buy him drinks. Break the ice. I'll join you momentarily. All bets are in. Betting is closed. What? No introduction? V. You. Aurore Cassel. And that boar is my brother, Emeric. How's things? Any luck? We started just moments ago. What's your poison? My treat. 
A bourbon for me. Alas, mon frère does not drink. You heard the lady. And real water for the gentleman here. And what'll you have? Hmm. Hard liquor, please. Whiskey. In Ori okay with you? Japanese, more than fine. Your drinks will be here shortly. One. Odd. Red. Hey, merde! It hurts. Place your bets, please. It's okay. I just gotta get things going. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Black. Going for it again. B. Can't get a hold of Reed. No idea where he is. Stall for time, okay? Hmm, I just realized. Uh, you must have dirt beneath your fingernails too. Like all these bastards and bitches. That is, unless you're a tourist, like the no-lifers who must watch others live to feel anything. Provocative, this one. Yeah, conscience ain't sparkling clean, no. Mmm, I like those who brag about such things. Fifteen. Odd. Black. A defeat. Ah! Is she fucking done here? Duh! <sighs> Place your bets, please. Can't help feeling I interrupted something. Yeah, that was, that was a nice rage quit. Do not worry yourself about this. Oh, come, come. V is just being cordial. N'est-ce pas, V? You weren't snooping just now, were you? Odd. Red. Still no sign from Reed, B. Got a sinking feeling about this. Place your bets, please. Eight's my magic number, so gonna go with eight. <laughs> oh, you got me. Aren't you big time? But in my defense, you guys stand out. Even in a crowd like this one. Oh, really? Listening to conversations of strangers can be... dangerous. Sometimes you can hear more than you can handle. Listen, Reed's MIA for now, can't wait for him. Gotta do both scans on your own. Uh, we were discussing local politics, specifically our host, Monsieur Kurt Hansen. Big fish selling big guns for big money. Yet here you have uh, celebrities, politicians, even the chief of police. So I was thinking, my table's uh, taking a long time. Hansen would do better by being a veritable businessman, no? I claim he would. Mon cher frère disagrees. Six. Even. Whoa. Black. Uh, oh, I thought it was six. Lucky day. Nope. Place your bets, please. Red. Who is Kurt Hansen really? A crucial question. Tread carefully with that duo, V. The fuck? Psychoanalysis a hobby of yours? No, putain. I'm merely trying to have a conversation. Be no. Too hard. Nope. I'm asking what you think of him, not if his parents loved him. Seem a lot like you and Hanson. Never a step back, always leaping forward. And you love the fuck out of this work. <laughs> Putain. Now you do the psychanalyse. <laughs> Real careful now. Playing your own game, Aurora. Santé, V. 36. Even. Red. Place your bets, please. Fat stacks. You're not going to be too pot with him. But you're not your jealous, little brother. It's not like he's going to Charming little show you're putting on. <gasps> you see, Emrick? We are charming. I mean, Hansen could take Dog down by the throat. Eject the junkies and make it a paradise for billionaires. 
Just getting rich is dull. You should work for the community. Invest, create jobs, throw banquets. <laughs> She's getting chatty. Doing good, V. And charities are excellent washing machines. You launder billions, believe me. 32. Even. Red. Oof. Place your bets, please. And you're so childish. It's beautiful. What? And soon going missionary position in business. Nonsense. <sighs> Reed's still not responding. But you keep working it. Let's go. Swap twins. Man basically owns Dogtown. Could use that as leverage. And who would Hanson be? The mayor? Please. He is very good at what he does. A professional criminal. Soldier yesterday, crime lord today. Why not biz shark tomorrow? Yet he is a businessman. And to make it legal, it is a lot of work to do for a simple change of label. Good. Little worms opening up. 14. Even. Eh ben Meg. voilà, c'est comme ça qu'on fait. Damn it. Ugh. It's okay, I'm just getting my vocal print. Care to expand? Floor is yours. Allow me to say, V. Arms or property, it would make no difference to me what I sell. And to spend five years on efforts to uh, change how people see you, call you. To be upstanding in the eyes of others. I could not give a shit. Ah, damn. I should have bet on red. Place your bets, please. Getting there. Almost got it. Give me something big now. Make him laugh or cry, I don't care. <laughs> please place your bets. How about we go all in? Bet everything we want tonight. And we play different colors, yes? You win or we do. And either you or we lose all. My thoughts exactly. A moment. You join the table, buy drinks, talk and talk. Now you wish to risk everything? I find this disquieting. Perhaps you could now tell us about yourself. Tread lightly. Name's V. Afterlife affiliated. Make what you will of it. Oh, are you happy now? You choose first, then. Huh. Black's my choice. Uh, we are red. As our hair. A luscious color. That was a fun way to make you feel like you were verbally sparring, but really you didn't have... Like it was basically a cutscene. Shit. I'm kind of stomping around. Like a big old silverback gorilla. Putain de merde. Yes! Sort of. Leave us for a moment, if you please. Oi. Congratulations to you. I know your friend Reed is FIA. My natural assumption is. You're an agent, too. I'm also guessing you two took it upon yourselves to save the president, then exfil her out of Dogtown. I should send you back to Night City in body bags, filled with pieces. You trying to scare me? Dunno. Are you afraid? We're just talking, aren't we? You're not about to kill us. Got it right? To be honest, I got tired of the media circus. All the allegations thrown in my face. The bullshit propaganda. Luckily, we can put all that behind us now. So what now? Gonna kidnap me? Torture me? I will let you and Reed walk free of this place, in one piece. 
on your own two feet. Consider it a gesture of my goodwill. Your little bird came to me on her own, though. She was tired of breaking international laws on the president's whim. She simply had to run away. Breaching the black wall, jeopardizing the net, all humankind's safety, in fact, for personal gain? I wonder what Netwatch would say. Pass it on to President Myers. Also tell her, her toy of mass destruction is my friend now. And she should get the fuck out of my backyard, or the world will learn about her games. I've matters to attend to. You'll find Mr. Reed downstairs. Okay, V. Got all we need. Woo! Sheesh. Colossal prick. Hear what he said? Yeah, caught it all. Didn't like it one bit, either. Son of a bitch said I'd find Reed downstairs. Yeah, heard him. Wasn't crazy about his tone. Time to evac, V. Best not tempt the fates. Head to the elevator, ride down to one. Need to know what's up with Saul. Mm -hmm. Oh, got this OG Xbox emulator Thanks. working. Only took six hours. Yeah, I remember trying to do that for Star Wars Obi-Wan. But, uh... Oh, sorry, it's around the corner. <clears throat> but yeah, I was unable to. Um... Because, ironically, Obi-Wan specifically can't be emulated. <laughs> but yeah, it took a long time to even get it working, to get it to, like, boot. Uh, was not... Hey! You're going to... Hey, Liz Witch. Fame singer, right? We haven't met yet. And you are? V. Just V. That's cool. There's more nice dialogue with Lizzy Wizzy. Nice to meet you, Just V. Perhaps we'll meet again someday. <laughs> we just might. Enjoy your evening. I wonder if you do requests before this, what that dialogue is. I'll be ready to book That's pretty cool. Five. It would be nice to check in with her after her quest line. Yeah, right, Deonyx? That would be somewhat... Wait a minute. No, okay. <laughs> kind of look like Taylor Swift, right? Just at a glance. Thanks. Oh, what if the Elon Musk cameo is actually here in Phantom Liberty? I'm just think I should look around more. See if there's any more digitized celebrities. I mean, I already found the Takamura Goro look alike. It doesn't get better than that. like all the clothes though appreciate it thanks does anyone know where kojima is kojima kojima Yeah, has the world seen Kojima's feet? And if not, what are what are they hiding? Why are they hiding it from us? Hello, Lime Violin. Happy nine month subversary. The denizens of Night City, Kojima, Travis Kels, and Taylor Swift. Quite an invite list. Hey, can we like chat now? Welcome here. Goodbye. Wow, bro. What did I? Okay. I guess I came by the bar too many times. He's passed out now. Whoa. What the hell is that? Russian? Oil. 
Yeah, the bartender must know where, uh, it's awesome. The bartender must know where Kojima is. That's why we're getting all this attitude. Oh yeah, that's true. Maybe Hanson told the, the bartenders to not serve me anymore. <laughs> be really shitty towards him. Just really uh, shitty. You act like you enjoy the jawing of these podium pounders and career criminals. Yeah. Thought as much. In that case, I'm gonna hollow the landing pad. Unless there's anyone else you want to talk to. Well, I was hoping to have a word with Kurt. Other ways. I can talk to him for you. No, don't bother. Another time I see you know, you shouldn't be talking to him, Paul. That man means danger, even for Lizzie Wizzy. You know my thoughts on this. All too well. I mean, you'll listen. You are. Lizzie Wizzy just a brain in a metal case by now? Yes. Uh... As performance art, she died on stage and was reborn inside of a synthetic body. She was, I think, the first person to do it on camera? Or maybe ever? I don't think it's a plastic surgery addiction allegory, to be honest. It's more of a... Like, in the context of the universe, it's a very, like very deliberate art statement about transhumanism she's not like in the in the world of cyberpunk lizzie wizzy is like a art performer she's not like just a pop artist uh it's the boat analogy oh yeah it's just, or no wait it's not the it's not oh my god i was just thinking about this today earlier today Theseus, 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 oh my god, the sissy boat, yeah, that's the one. It's the sissy boat for the sissies. Uh. Oh, that's interesting. Do the wings and her performance represent the phoenix? Yeah, maybe, I suppose. I suppose. That was a performance from a while ago, though. Thinking about what that prick said. I don't remember what year that happened in universe. Songbird's a walk and talk in WMD. And Hanson's got her on a tight leash. And he can prime her for use whenever he wants. Listen, V, we need to get her out. Oh, for dang. everyone's sake. Thank you for the raid, what a show. Guy knows. Got some dirt on Myers. Can't imagine it happening. What a but raid. if the public learns that any US president willingly broke international laws governing cyberspace use. And USA's fucked. We just left a cyber party. I drank a lot of free drinks until the bartender started getting a little cross with me. the world and spark another war. Fuck me. Oh, just once I'd like to see things go smooth. Did some gambling? Made some money? so very, very wrong. We read Zorba the Hut on What a Show. You and your chum best be headed the fuck out now. Straight on from here. Gonna walk you two out. Come on, Is that v. fan fiction? Oh, hang. Read. Not the time, V. I'm going, I'm going. Sheesh. That's right, you are. And no funny biz while you're at it. It's real, written by a person. That makes it art. Speaking of, I have uh, in my hands a physical copy of Do Electric Sea Cows Dream of Moonfish by our good our good buddy Turbid. Published author Turbid, Tyler Gorash. I'm going to give this away. Probably on Friday, I guess. I'm going to do like a... I don't, a subathon is the wrong word. I'm going to let people buy up airtime that I'll fill with media tech. In between uh, playing lots of Call of Duty. God bless. Oh, speaking of, here, check this out. Bark, bark, bark. Tactical dog. Tactical dog overlay. All right, thank you, Riley. That's it. 
That's the thing. That's what I... That's what I wanted. I need to add sound to it. Uh, even if I just record it. So Still no fish AI. You know not, not yet. Leaving already? I could get a little fish overlay. How's the maybe? party? You have a good time? Look at this guy smile. Nora will be out in moments. I drank so much free booze, man. You don't even know. Great. Hit the fucking road. <laughs> They're so salty. Yeah, that's right. Now fuck off. <laughs> This is such a weird sequence. You have to you have to slow walk down the hallway while all the goons make fun of you for getting captured. Boo. I guess we made them look bad. Ugh. Uh it looks really pretty in here. Leave. It's pretty. No stopping. Let's go. Fuck off. Follow me. Uh. Still got his pistol. I don't think he's supposed to have that. Yeah, that's just kind of floating there. How things go, V? Got everything. I'll sit. You got thorough scans of the runners. Both of them. Yourself. I said we got everything. Well, well. And then you, uh, excused yourself. Stepped away. Disappeared. How about you spill where you've been? What happened? Had us worried. The op was on the way. I didn't want to jeopardize it, so when confronted, I behaved. They cornered me. Got me before we could meet up. Forget the rest. How'd it go at the table? Anything to worry about? Mm, 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 that's sus. Hanson showed up. We chatted. Threats were made, actually. Said if Myers doesn't let up, the world will learn about Songbird Pierce and the Black Wall. He clearly knows what Somi means to the president. Personal WMD, you mean? Yeah. Hanson knows all. Need to get her the fuck out, Reed. Really. I was afraid of this. Okay. P, Alex and I have work. We need to analyze the data from Songbird. Might take a day or two. Preem, open comms line then? Sure. We'll work out a game plan. Get back to you ASAP. Okay. Oh, and V, bang up work. Okay, all right. Any wire references? If there were, I probably wouldn't catch them because I... I am not schooled on the wire. Now I can I can do a little goblin sprint. Look at that. Little hands out. I can't wait. Yeah. Oh man. You can do it during combat? To make that's interesting. Okay. Tree revamp looks cool. It is cool. I uh, I like it quite a lot. Very meaningful um, decisions and upgrades. None of which feel ultra exclusionary, but you're always you're always like getting some treat that's that matters. It's not. It's not a whole lot of just like 10% plus, and if it if it is something like that, it's on the path to something else that is more meaningful. Do I trust Songbird though? How do you air dash? Uh it's a it's an ability you have to unlock. I can try to look up where it is. I don't remember off the top of my head. Let's see here. Once Hanson got his claws into me, I thought that was it. Game over. But suddenly you show up. You again. The right place, the perfect time. This isn't over V. Not anymore. Huh. She needs to acknowledge how, how suspicious her behavior is, though. 
think it was my intention to be Hanson's prisoner? Please, I know better ways to complicate my life. Fortunately for us both, I never make the same mistake twice. But seriously, remember, we're in this together now. So stay in touch. I guess. I feel like we're in this together. Insofar as I can... I can help her get the thing. I mean, I need the thing too. Or at least that's what she's telling me. That dude just took a righteous vape. Oh, gonna go start your first Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough? Hey, that's awesome. Enjoy. That came so much fun. CRPG revolution we didn't know we needed. We're all just trying to get a thing, aren't we? Take some of that blue. Like a scoop full of carrot discs. Ooh. Don't forget the popcorn. Place in Little China. It's a Little China. Okay. Oh, vehicle. All right, let's do a vehicle. I don't know why the vehicle the vehicle deliveries might be my favorite new thing. I was always just looking for a reason to drive around. I, I can't read your future. Might have to snap some necks first. Whoa! Oh, these dudes on the dudes on motorcycle just rolled up. Check my texts. What the? Interesting item of business has fallen into my lap. Lena Molina, a local BD celebrity, claims she's been kidnapped and is currently being held against her will in a BD rental studio called Brainporium. Kalena, the poi boy, thanks for the sub. Lena seeks a merc who will free her from her captor's clutches. All in all, it'd be a credible solid assignment were it not for the fact that I failed to confirm the client's identity. The data I received from her is at odds in several places with what my trusted sources tell me. As such, I will not be playing middleman in this matter. However, should you be so inclined, I've included the coordinates she relayed me. I, meanwhile, will do as the Romans do and wash my hands with the matter. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, I've seen posters of her. Okay. Interesting. Let's see where that goes. Ooh, you got him. Now, now what? Okay. All right. Save me some time, I guess. Okay. Didn't even have to end the winners. Hey V. Dream new wheels, huh? Flipping you the delivery address now. Bussy Control. Fantastic name. Uh, yeah, if, if you... You don't have to buy the DLC now. I mean, just the 2.0 update, I think, is a good enough reason to replay Cyberpunk if you haven't in a while. There were all kinds of things I even forgot, so it kind of felt... felt new to me. How's the vehicle combat in first person? So, I guess there's two kinds of vehicle combat. You can have guns mounted to your car. And I haven't even experimented with that yet. But as far as like, as far as first person shooting while you're driving, it's, it's not that bad. I wish that I could use my cyber claw. Rest in peace. I think that would make driving and shooting perfect, but 
I think things like smart pistols and stuff like that oh, make it a lot more shit. practical. It's like GTA 5. Now that's good. Now that's good house. Shit, got someone on your ass. Ah. Guess we'll find out. This is the light. Oops. Oh, there's like generous auto targeting. Okay. Is there a better, better weapon than this? I feel like yes. To remember also I can use my send devs so let's give it a shot I'm trying to use it it's not letting me that's weird I'm trying to hit the thing So yeah, there's pretty generous like auto aim and lock on while you're driving. So that's good. You can really lean into that. Ooh. I was using a smart pistol before, or a yeah, smart SMG. Can't stay long. Want you to know I can't stop thinking about Cyber Scronked from your stream title the other day. Glad to hear it. I am here Get to... close to me, darling. Oh. Uh, G-Man, thanks for the cheer. I'm here to inspire. Okay, let's try it again. I should get cyber scronked again. All good, all good. Let's go, go, go. Check the course. It's already pretty late. Wouldn't be able to fully enjoy the scronk. Speaking of, I think I'm gonna have to stop streaming pretty soon here. But I'm gonna get this car safely home first. And then I may or may not be streaming tomorrow. I have a concert to go to in the evening. So it's just gonna kind of wind, or it's gonna come down to whether or not the day is clear. Maybe I can pick up, pick up Call of Duty again. It's been a while. Or uh, maybe I dedicate the day to finishing off Mortal Kombat. Ty Stoner, forty-two hundred. Thank you for the raid. There's a generous amount of very wonderful usernames out here on Twitch, and I like, I love to see it. duck out early. Oh, I, I'm not going to be going for much longer, but yeah. Always good to have you in chat. Always good to hear from you. I, uh, I'm just kind of going over my, my plans for tomorrow. I saw that coming a mile away. Motherfuckers won't let you go easy. We might have to, uh, or we might take, we might decide to report on something Prince of Games, or we might just take it easy. We've had pretty steady reports. Sometimes I think Bruce could use, like, a little more time to just relax. <laughs> so, so, if there's ever an opportunity to, to just, like, chill out on things, I try to take it.
raided again. Thank you, Stoner4200. You know somebody's really stoned when they raid you twice. I'd like two large medium pizzas, please. This isn't in combat. Not, it doesn't feel like combat. I just got lucky this time. Look at how cool this looks! Uh, uh, uh. Awesome. Yeah, I want to get up to MK1. I want to see some beatdowns. Play some online. Ow. Play some, ow, play some online matches, maybe. Who's good in MK1? Who are the characters? I guess, I think Baraka's supposed to be pretty legit. Striker's not playable, so that sucks. I guess Smoke is in it. I always like Smoke. This is awesome. Like an Indian EDM. Oh, you don't want to talk about it because of spoilers? I guess that's fair. I do like Kenshi. Kenshi's kind of slow, though. I, I, I played Kenshi a bit in a demo build. It's like you kind of have to know all the moves because all of his basics have like a lot of startup and recovery is kind of what it felt like. So if you know the moves you can flow into and what, what all of his like dialogue combos are, I don't know, it'll be interesting. I mean, they, he's like a sword fighter, right? So it's all big slashes and big movements. I always did like Kenshi as a character. I guess that was after Matrix. That's just who that is. Is that the most recent new character that's just a pretty obvious lift of a uh, action lead? Because Mortal Kombat is kind of stuffed with them to begin with, but as time goes on, the new characters aren't really just like, oh, it's that guy. <laughs> I guess it's because they literally get those guys now. They just straight up have Rambo. So they don't need Rambo. Thanks for the help, v. Diet Rambo. Will do the finishing touches. We get out of the car. Little token of my appreciations waiting for you in the drop lock. There it is. Solo. What level solo am I now? Stacking up eddies. Ooh. Oh, not even enough to level. Okay. Let's see here. If I'm near an apartment, I can buy. Yes! Let's do it. Alright. I'll go to my new apartment. Curl up in my new bed. Call it a day. Thank you, every thank you, everyone, for watching. I do love sharing games with people. I I just realized, like playing Cyberpunk, for me at least, ends up being a pretty passive experience. I'm either running around intensely stabbing people in the face or like kicking back and listening to dialogue. So the day just kind of flows by. It's pretty uh pretty smooth. I'll be back to this soon, but yeah, I think if I can get some... Uh oh what? How do I buy it? Huh? I can force it open? But that's it? There's got, there's got to be a front door or something, right? Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh. 
Authentically functional. It's not cramped. It's cozy. He? What the heck? Is that Polish? A quality... Wait. Huga. Huga. A quality of coziness and comfortable conviviality that engenders a feeling of contentment or well-being. Regarding as defining characteristic of Danish culture. Images. That's cozy, all right. Interesting. Yeah, okay. I had a really Huga uh, studio apartment when I first moved back to LA. Those are the last tenants. I got my own roach race. I got my own sparkling water. This is pretty cool. Kind of annoyed the Sir John Fallis stiff doesn't have its own mounting place on the wall. Oh well, it's got a mounting place in my heart and my backside. I used to always take showers at night because I would also exercise at night, but since I started, uh, since I started working independently, now I work out in the morning. So it's like, I feel like I go to sleep dirtier because I'm further away from a shower, you know? Grimier. Wait, oh, did I get a shower buff? What's that from? It's here. Not the, not the biggest key. Refreshed. Allows you to regenerate health during combat. If you possess the painkiller perk, increases health regen during combat by 15% instead. Cool. Also, somebody was asking about air dash. Um, yeah, you have to level this up to level three inside the reflex tree. It's just straight up the middle. Cool. Well, again, thanks everybody for watching. I'm going to take a nap on my Huga bed and feel ultimate video game coziness. Yeah, should be back tomorrow with more Mortal, Mortal Kombat X story mode. I want to start MK1 soon. Uh, and then Call of Duty. That's kind of what's uh, what's on the to-do list. And then, yeah, just tons more cyberpunk. I want to see the new ending. I want to get the gamer ending with Johnny Silverhand, too. So, lots to explore. And that's, that's not even... That's not even acknowledging all the other amazing games that have come out. Baldur's Gate 3, I gotta go, gotta go back to. Just lots of stuff. Anyway... Thanks for watching. Uh, I look forward to next time already. See ya.